It's, uh, you already know how this goes. It's like 18th one. Only through me can you achieve a power greater than any Jedi. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. Oh boy, we're off to a good start. Sometimes I genuinely can't believe I let this thing live in my house with me. Look at those eyes. They can see into its everything. And the everything is you. People forget that orange cats can't think because they have no space for a brain. That's a battery compartment for more destructive energy. My girlfriend told me this is also to gingers. She is one. And as a ginger, I can confirm. Yeah, it do be like that. Do you really want to live in a world of Splatoon and be a sci-fi fish creature? Or do you just want to live in a city with free social gathering spaces, affordable housing, and an efficient rail system and cool street art? It could be two things. There are other ways to poison an AI image training set. <laughs> Jesus, look at the grippers on that equine. It would be cool if after you died, you could also see, like, the top five times you almost died. Dude. God, that would be amazing. Call me a guy who just caught a fish that's too small and abides by the local fishing regulations on minimum size limit. So, so like, I don't know, just a, a good dude, I guess? Yeah? Yeah. To be honest, I think the funniest phenomenon that's been happening in the last couple of years is YouTuber has gone too deep into the research hole and has been made an investigative journalist against their will. <laughs> yeah. I'm the sometimes seeing eye. I definitely see shit. Not all of it, but definitely some of it. For example, I noticed that the commas were missing and I almost said I definitely see shit not all. Star Wars and Harry Potter are two franchises that try to claim textually that it doesn't really matter who your family is, whilst showing subtextually that it unequivocally does matter who your family is. Subtext isn't a thing, dude. Well, there's my entire literature degree disproven. Yeah, you know what, Andy, just take the entire concept of media literacy and just throw it in the fire. It's dead. We can't see it. I recently saw a picture of Gandalf and was thrown off by the lack of big naturals. I could be nice and provide a picture of Gandalf with his big naturals. But I won't. Brain, you're a horrible, worthless garbage person, and your life is going nowhere but to hell. Me. I don't know what the fuck you expect me to do about that at like 11 p.m., my dude. I'm just, I'm just laying here. If I ever find myself in a P.M. Seymour video, I actually think I will perish. <gasps> we finally have a way to get rid of the Duolingo owl. It's time. So when trans people take chemicals that radically change their body in order to live happier and freer lives, it's fine. But when I, Henry Jekyll... <laughs> that was good. They say white people don't have their own culture, but I just got invited to a gender reveal party for a dog. And there's no way we appropriated that from anyone else. Out of curiosity, I actually googled the words, when did people start caring about dogs' genders, and, uh, I didn't really get an answer. So I think Meme Daddy's onto something here. Yeah, yeah, fuck AI and all. But I'm a silver linings kind of person, and this debacle potentially lets Tumblr commit to the ultimate bit. We're gonna give AI a whole new context for watermelons. Innocent people are about to get Kong Pao Penis. Chet GPT knows the perfect person you can buy high quality copper from. Neil banging out the tunes will be an official holiday, and we're gonna gaslight the entire internet into believing Goncharov was real. If we're gonna get dragged into hell, we're gonna do the interior decorating. And we know color theory. Gonna look Satan in the eye and say, Do you love the color of the sky? The only good isekai is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Who are the waifus? Grovile. The AI art lets me create my asses. You will use Picru as God intended. You can put on the big fat anime titties later. You know, one time I dreamt I was on a Discord call with my buddy, and I said BRB, and then I woke up. Words cannot describe the feeling I got when I realized what just happened. Good luck getting back. Detective Slenderman in the mysterious case of why my middle school teacher claimed that he was the one that made the Potter Puppet Pal series on YouTube. I mean, that's a very obscure lie. I'd believe him. A week off isn't enough. 
I need to fall into a deep slumber for like a thousand years and wake up and everything's gotten better. The thing about me is that I am so hopelessly in love with love and romance that if I had any game, charisma, or just general luck in dating, I would be married by now. Hi. Pronounce jacuzzi as jacuzzi to concern the local populace. Andy, just arrest this man. Put him in jail. <laughs> Great post. Let's give him a golf clap. Do you ever say something and then think, wow, this isn't even a bit. Uh, I'm just like this. Do you ever say something and then think, wow, this isn't even a bit. I'm just like this. I feel dirty after reading that. Do you need a scrubby wubby? I think I do need a scrubby wubby, to be honest, but not from you. Well, when is it my turn to be happy? The process is a bitch, and I want to fight it with a knife. Evil wizard, what is the difference between a witch and a wizard? Wizards are mathematicians and physicists. Witches are chemists and biologists. Warlocks, sadly, are business majors. Ooh, no one tell our local warlock that. Man, I'm so thirsty. The ketchup bit I got with my burger. How thirsty. It's honestly so easy to claim territory. Once you figure it out, you can start claiming territory anywhere. I claimed territory in a Walmart once. No one was allowed near the milk for hours. You pissed in a Walmart? Ew. The fuck are you talking about? I didn't piss in a Walmart. I shit in a Walmart. They should invent a job that I actually want to do. One time I dreamt PM Seymour left an ominous reply on random old post of mine talking about posts that get no notes just saying, It's ready. And it's ready. Q? What's that? I just hit the funny reblog button once in a blue moon and pray the gods don't smite me for my hubris. Hey, it's a PM Seymour. I now have personal beef with you. Spanish or vanish, motherfucker. Okay, listen, I will fight you and I will learn Spanish on one condition. You put Tagalog on your fucking app. So, what's up, guys? The sky? Okay. Actually, you know what? Fuck you. How dare you? No one knows what to say after that shit. Am I supposed to laugh at that joke? If, if, if anyone has ever laughed at that joke, they were lying to you. They were being nice because they felt sorry for you. You just wanted to end the conversation early. You got somewhere to go, bozo. You a busy man. Jesus. How dare you piss in Pucky Cho's Cheerios like that, you prick? Mold is so much moldier than just mold. It's because it's British mold. The Owl House fandom, tell me someone has written the AU where Rain asks Ida to marry them and Ida is all like, Oh, I would love to, but technically, I'm already married. And the gang has to go down to Gravity Falls, Oregon to get Stanley Pines to sign the divorce papers. That's not canon? Oh, I... I think I maybe missed the birth of the beast talk after all. I don't remember this part. I don't know why making local friends is so hard, but it really is. Especially for someone who doesn't go to bars. Like, what, what, what am I supposed to do? Go up to someone at Walmart and be like, Wow, I use that cake mix too. Go off, bestie. Let's grab dinner. What if Mothman just got stuck in a lighthouse one day and that's why we haven't seen them in a while? Oh. Oh, no. I mean this from the bottom of my heart. No one is impressed by our loud-ass car. Actually, we talked about it, and we all want you dead. Unless your car is loud by accident, then we, we'll give you whatever money you need to stop it. Behold, Norwegian forest cat chasing a fox. Did you mean two best friends on an important adventure? Pretty sure this is an anime battle. Snom fact number 18. Snom's body shape is listed as serpentine. This is incorrect. Snom's actual shape is shaped like a friend. Who says snakes can't be shaped like friends? Oh, to be a bear. Eating salmon, attacking campers, eating campers. You don't have to be a bear to do that. I want to be a fucking bear. Too many people are starting estrogen or testosterone when they should start by opening the forbidden grimoire. H.I.T. Hexes, rituals, and tomes. If you hear some jingle jangling during these recordings, it's because JoJo has turned my new sound booth into her playroom, so... That's good. Financial note. Money isn't everything, but it comes in handy when you're trying to live. News Journal. Mansfield, Ohio. May 6, 1929. 
Whoa, well, boy, it's May 1929, and I sure hope nothing happens to affect the value of money anytime soon. Be honest. Are you guys only hanging out with me because of the prophecy? No. I'm already living in a time loop. It's called being employed. Two men sitting in a hot tub, six feet apart, because they're having a lover's quarrel. <gasps> oh no. Props to a friend for this one. I'll call them Spade. So Spade and I were chilling at their house for whatever reason, and we decided to make s'mores. Whenever we hang out, we always have a tendency to share whatever's been piquing both of our interests. So I finally talked about P.M. Seymour. <gasps> That's me. Because it had been a bit too long. Long story short, we had a binge compilation on the TV, and Spade brought our s'mores into the living room on plates. When they tried to eat theirs, the marshmallow was so melted it stuck to the plate. So he proceeded to say, out loud, Oh no, my, my P.M. s'more. There was a moment of silence, and then five minutes of pure laughter. This led to me making this post. Well, I feel like we should really honor their memory, so let's have a moment of silence. And I mean it this time! Snarky YouTube comments I remember from last video. Okay, here we go. Does anyone actually know how long you're supposed to mourn for us more? Leave your dungeon today, queen. Crawl out from the depths of darkness today, my muse. My flame. Placing the pitcher of water on the ground, pouring the drink mix in, and using a wooden spoon to stir it with my teeny tiny little baby child five-year-old hands like it's a cauldron. Like if you agree. Smash that like button! Gender envy this, gender envy that. Where are the other sins? Where is the gender pride, gender greed, gender gluttony, gender sloth, gender lust, and gender wrath? Well, Fortnite is so good, why haven't they made Five Night? They already did, it's at Freddy's. Did you... did you miss it? Pros of hyperfixation. Happy, art ideas, life is good. Cons of hyperfixation. I'm going to blow up. All my art is of the same guy. And if I don't think about it 24-7, I get violent. Perceive with your eye spheres. Two sick horses evaluating an orb. It floats. Don't like that. Psst. Hey, kid. Come here. Would you like to buy some, uh, wheat and wheat byproducts? You goddamn Night Vale fan to made it again. Tip for Pokemon TCG players. Eat your opponent's cards while they're not looking. No. Eat them when they are looking. This will terrify your opponents and make them forfeit. Eat your own cards to make sure your opponent never challenges you again, so technically you can't lose against them anymore. Me on my way to eat holographic Charizard. I will never financially recover. Imposter syndrome is a common problem in academia. For example, my colleagues keep putting me in the airlock and ejecting me into space. Uh, if you're not the imposter, how do you keep coming back? Tenure. Whenever the devil exists in a piece of media, the most important question is always whether or not the devil went down to Georgia is canon in that universe. For me personally, it's whether to find out if tribute is canon in that universe. Why is the door shut? Stick paw under to solve mystery. Paw under door did nothing. Next option, sit in front of door and scream. Hi, Joe. Why don't you tag any of your posts? Why do I need to? Do I need to tag them hashtag funny to get notes? False advertisement. Listen here, you small little freak! My trans brother is obsessed with stick insects because he says he relates to them on a spiritual level. They're pretending on the outside to be something they're not, to protect themselves from things that want to kill what they really are on the inside. That's beautiful. <clears throat> Bobcat is short for Robert Feline. A distinguished gentleman, yes. White cave woman naming their child Oog, but it's spelled <laughs> E-A-U-X-G-H. Oog. Fuck. I got tomorrow, tomorrow. Moving house tomorrow? Be careful, I heard they're heavy. Not mine. Mine is a... Uh... It's hilarious. The fact 
that we got a Bond film in 2006 and 2008, but not 2007. The only year with 007 in it for a hundred years. That doesn't sit right with me. You're right. The universe fucked up. We have to go back. Eleventh plague. Emails. Pharaoh, I hope this email finds you letting my people go. As per my last plague, behold, trees which have been struck by lightning. Oh, those are some screams of the damned right there. But also, I feel like someone would look at the bottom left one and go, Wood. Because it's straight! Every chef right now. Today, I'm going to show you how to make something simple with ingredients everyone has in their pantry. Since you can't go to the store, I'm starting with Madagascar vanilla, hemp milk, and a single feather from a dodo bird. Meanwhile, Guy Fieri is like, Today we're gonna do shit with Hawaiian sweet rolls! Everyone makes fun of the main Pokemon anime because people keep yelling at their Pokemon to dodge, but honestly, I think that, like, makes sense. It's the trainer equivalent to the guy yelling at the baseball player on his TV to run faster. In the evil world, Beanie Babies would be called Meanie Babies. I love that I can just start off sentences with phrases like, in the evil world, and not elaborate at all, because people just get what I mean, like, yeah, yeah, the evil world, we all know it. The world that's just like ours, but evil. We're all familiar. I just think it's a crying shame that trans headcanons are always like, for example, Ash Pokemon was assigned female at birth, or Misty Pokemon was assigned male at birth, and not, ten years from now, Brock Pokemon has a revelation and becomes the Nurse Joy she was always meant to be. You know, fuck it, I'll accept that into my headcanon, why not? Probably bad RPG ideas. Inverted metagaming. The players aren't allowed to know what the characters do, but the characters know everything the player does. Mm -mm -mm. Me working on my next album, like, this mix is ass. Session terminated. <laughs> well, but come on! Fine, how are you? Not in the sense of actually being fine, but fine in the way Han Solo means it while being shot at in the Death Star. Who would win? The perfect limb, the peak of evolution. Or a flat boy on a table. Be sure to leave out milk and cookies for Brutus tonight. You can leave as many as you want, but he'll only eat two. Ah! <laughs> Modern social media should stop offering sync with your phone contacts to follow them options and start offering block all your phone contacts so they never see your account options. What secrets are you hiding on, Stars fan? No groups of human in history have had less special awareness than boomers piloting carts around Costco like the container ship trapped in the Suez Canal. Hey, listen. My dad is trying his best, all right? Bread so tasty, bread so nice, toasted once, toasted twice, toasted three times, it turns to coal. Burning toast is not my goal. That's a beautiful poem. Put it in a modern art museum. Put it in the loo. Put it, put it on the fridge. Your mama's so crumb that strong ants took her away forever. Just here to say I started using this joke on middle schoolers and it completely disarms them in every situation. Thanks so much. This dude literally out here just on playgrounds giving middle schoolers depression. G -g Gender roles? <laughs> Which one do I... Oh god, what's my gender modifier? You... you get it. Tolkien is having his first ever egg. It's... Not going well. Tolkien is my snake. He's my snake, my pet snake. Author Jolkin, Wilkin, Rolkin, Tolkien is not birthing an egg. I mean, we don't know what J.I.R. does in his personal time. So let's not rule anything out. So combining Happy Hour, Amulet Coin, and Rotom Prize money makes you some ridiculous cash money. No wonder the dude's so pissed. You probably took his pension there. News. A student obsessed with aliens vanishes, leaving behind books written in code. Oh man, my best life. God, I wish this were me. Isn't this the plot of Gravity Falls? Why would you leave this in the tags? My boyfriend prefers his mattress firm, and I need a soft mattress. He prefers his food temperate, while I like my food hot and spicy. This is another good reason to not have a kid. Because even if the kid averages out and prefers everything in the middle, there's this risk of some blonde bitch breaking into our house to rummage through our stuff. Texting an elf and ten years later getting a response. Sorry, lol, I got distracted. Fearin wouldn't do that. Would she? 
The power of friendship versus the power of incredible violence is a false dichotomy. The violence of which you are capable all by yourself lies firmly within the sphere of all the credible. It is the power of friendship which enables the power of incredible violence. I learned something today. Actually, Minecraft deciding that sleep deprivation was going to make flying demons attack you was realistic as fuck. Sorry my posts haven't been as frequent or funny as usual. It's because I'm eating well, sleeping regularly, and exercising. Lost another one to a clear, unburdened mind. Uh, isopods are cringe. Take it back. Fucking take it back. I'm driving your location as we speak! Makes you wonder if Sticky had deactivated before or after they found him. I've been hearing people say, in the evil world, Bitch, we live in the evil world. Start thinking of what would be happening in the good world. Like no taxes. Or at least just done right. Me asleep in bed, slightly adjust leg. My cats. The energy became incredibly hostile here. I'm just gonna go. I'd rather sleep on the couch than deal with your disrespect. Oh my god. This is a friendly reminder to give your OC a firm and unmistakable L every now and then. This is a necessary action to keep your OC healthy for the long term. Wait, you guys are giving your OCs Ws? When is it my turn to have the gay boy fun? Sorry, you missed it. Your turn should come back in about two weeks. So sometimes I'll listen to a podcast or Reddit stories at work, and today I heard one about a new girl at a fast food place messing something up. I was like, <laughs> I get you, I'm the new kid too. Then I paused and came to the horrifying realization. I've been working here for nine and a half months. Uncle, you're fired. All my stars, I did it. I'm in a PMC more for you! Who's PMC more? Oh. It's a PMC more. Well, you know, it's, it's fine. I'm not even, I'm not even mad. I'm just, I'm just gonna just curl up into this corner over here. It's fine. No, 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 no. And now some words from my wife. Take it away. Thanks for making it this far. You better subscribe. Or else. <laughs> Do it. Here comes the money! Hello. Stretching isn't enough. I need to be able to disassemble my body like Legos. Brain? Why, why, why do we want a chicken and cheese quesadilla from Taco Bell? We, we do not like the chicken and cheese quesadilla from Taco Bell. What was wrong with you? I think I can actually answer that. Um, it's weird to say. But I believe that is your body's way of telling you that you need sodium. And what better source than a fast food joint? I will read Dungeon Meshi at an appropriate pace, I thought. It has been two days, and I am at chapter 80. How did this happen? I mean, to be fair, it's, it's got like everything. It's got food, it's got anime, it's got monsters, it's got pros ED, it's got lesbians. What was that last part? Pros ED? Okay. I am so glad Goncharov happened when it did. Right before prolific public use of AI. That was pure, honest gaslighting straight from the heart. Real human whimsicality and trickery through blood, sweat, and tears. We were a family. And we all gunched together. You can't replace that with any machine. I didn't even like the Gunsharov meme, and I agree with this. Please enjoy these photos of cows that have been shampooed and blow-dried, because I didn't realize this was even possible until today. <sighs> oh my god, look at them. They're perfect. The spit take I just did. The menacing aura that is Barack Obama. Well, uh, this is your last chance. If you, uh, don't do the next Mega Mega Binge, I'm, uh, I'm gonna end you. Reminder. You belong to this world. You are made by it and will return to it once your time has come. Live your life. It is yours. Enjoy your time. We all belong here. We all love and hate and die. Make it matter. Be kind. Math is really tiring. I'm so glad I finally get to relax and do some knitting and crochet and I, oh god, oh my god, what the fuck? Before you start knitting slash crochet, you have to ask yourself, do I know how to count? More importantly, am I ready to come to terms with the answer? Which is no. Ghostbusters taking over, I'm virgin! Posts like this made me realize I have never read anyone's fucking URL. For those of you listening, allow me to fix that for you. 
four female Ghostbusters. The five minutes are taking over. I'm an adult virgin. What are we gonna play through some scandal here on Tumblr? Kind of annoyed at the YouTube's having all the fun. So like how YouTube got like a four hour video by H Bomber Guy, do we get someone who does like a hundred page essay? My hobbies include knowing and being right. You would not believe your knees if 10,000 angry bees were released in your room as you fell asleep. <laughs> hey y'all, you know how like internet searches suck now? When the results are awful, full of AI, death of the internet levels are bad? Start appending date constraints to your searches, like, quote, before 2023, end quote. My results have gone from 90% AI bullshit to 60% usable, which frankly at this point is a huge improvement. Hey, what if we had a plagiarism scandal here on Tumblr? Kind of annoyed that the YouTube is having all the fun. You can't do this to my post. All right, here's today's controversial post. A good amount of you on here will be like, English was my favorite subject, and then reblog posts like, here's why sex scenes can't have symbolism, and stop consuming media with toxic characters. Like, okay, so what were you doing in your English class then? Because it apparently wasn't learning or analyzing. I'm pretty sure it was doodling pictures of eyes. You have no idea how much it annoys me that the idea of creating a terrible character means you're in support of those decisions. No. This is writing an antagonist or a character that gives you motivation to support the protagonist in their cause to do the things. Ayo, hey, fuck personality tests. Reblog this with the position you sleep in and how you like your eggs cooked. People reblogging this with on my back and hard boiled are to be feared. I'm just gonna say right now, side sleeper and scrambled. Holy hell. My upcoming fanfic already reached 5k words, and it's not even close to finished. This was supposed to be a one-shot. One time, one of my teachers referred to me by my Discord name. Jesus Christ, okay, fuck whatever I was talking about. Your thing is a hundred times worse. Anyone else feel like God is just toying with you however he pleases? He thinks he's so funny. Well, I'm about to be hilarious. If you're familiar with the Oath of Love Paladin, you luckily know that their oath is, as do I, never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you, never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, and never tell a lie and hurt you. Hey, wait a minute! The way The Hobbit is written is so interesting because it's obviously a story-telling style while also being an account of what Bilbo wrote down himself in his red book. So it's just a full-on unreliable narrator, because the narrator can be either the nebulous author translator or Bilbo's sneaky little lies. So basically anything and nothing in The Hobbit could have happened and leaves so much room for fan authors I'm going crazy over it. And narrator-wise, reading The Hobbit, there's so many little notes about how Bilbo thinks he's a great deal more eloquent than he is. It's, it's, but who wrote that? What is the storyteller? Is it self-deprecation on Bilbo's part? Which parts of the story did he over or undersell? How truthful is anything in it? What did he leave out? Oh my god, is this, is this how the movie series can get away with so many creative liberties? Uh, you have vampiric blood running through your veins. However, that blood comes from quite a few generations back. So all it really means is that you like eating meat, can't swim, get mildly annoyed by religious architecture, and get sunburned really easily. Babe, that's... that's just the Irish. In futuristic sci-fi stories, do you think that with all this crazy tech, we as humans fixed Earth's orbit and rotation? So that we don't, we don't have a leap year, we just changed Earth's orbit to match the 24 hour, 365 day movement? I'm sure there's catastrophic reasons why we can't do that. I'm sorry for not mentioning bogs, swamps, mires, and murky waters lately. It'll probably happen again. I'm so mentally stable, you can park a horse in my brain. Bestie, I fear this is something not someone stable would say.
Everything should cost $1, $10, or $100. A drinky drink is $1, a t-shirt is $10, rent is $100. I might be convinced to allow $1,000 for some very big purchases like a house. I get it. You're running a business. I'm not unreasonable. Imagine if there was a case of Pokemon adopting, taking in a kid. Like a kid just being protected by a bunch of powerful Pokemon. You could tell this is a brain rot idea. Hey. Oral, I don't, I don't know how to tell you this, but the Pokemon TV series? They did that, like, way back in, like, 1999. <sighs> Women. I love thermodynamics because it's like, no, my toaster waffle did not get cold. It simply tried to warm this big cold world all by its little self. Her heat was given, and she asked for nothing in return. One time I dreamt Gravity Falls and Homestuck were made by the same guy. I don't... I don't even have a joke that would be appropriate for YouTube for that. Characters who are absolutely convinced down to their bones that they are unlovable being subjected to the mortifying ideal of being holy and unconditionally loved. Dates the good stuff. Never get tired of it. Not they did nothing wrong, or they're a horrible bastard, but a secret third thing. They did things wrong, and I like that about them, but everyone over-exaggerates their negative impact on the story. I feel like this is how the internet reacted to Mabel Pines, because God forbid she did an irrational thing at 12 years old. What's wrong, babe? You barely touched your... ...brinkles. Yes, your world building is thorough, your geography meticulous, your plotting elaborate, and your characterization nuanced. But answer me this. Is there a fucked up little guy? My girlfriend is turning 32 soon. I've told her not to get her hopes up. After all, I say, we're only going to celebrate it for half a minute. When she asked what in the world I was talking about, I pointed out, this is your 32nd birthday. Jeff, we really, you really gotta change your URL. Thesaurus.com, save me! Aid me! Assist me, Thesaurus.com! How the fuck do I have gifted kid burnout? I was an art kid! I guess it's fair to say it's just kid burnout. Oh no! Water is pretty nice to drink despite how horribly it treated the crew of Edmund Fitzgerald. Moderation in all things. So, someone said that. Guys, my light motif is about to fucking reprise. In, in, in its original major key, right? In its original major key, right? <clears throat> Ladies, lads, gentle thems, you can now drink mayonnaise. Rejoice, white people. Removed an ancient legacy piece of code that provide roughly a one in million chance of catastrophic engine failure at any time for no reason. Railroad is not a highway. Added more strawberries. Not on the highway, mind you. Maybe. Possibly. We don't know. Fixed an issue that caused survivor's face to distort when being hooked by a survivor of the opposite gender. Just imagining that one survivor going, Sorry, I didn't even expect to be saved by a woman. Increased odds of meat room. Yummy. Or are you just alone, staring at your screen right now, with not one blade of grass to touch in the vast desert that is isolation and solitude? So, so what, what, what was the patch note? Touch some grass by participating in the St. Patrick TLE in all green cars. So how does that work? Like, because if you don't wear green clothes, you get the pinch. So if you're like in like a non-green car, do they just hit you with a car? Removed. Geomes. For good. Moth person. Serpent. Gray alien world war event. Skrillex NPC. The moon. And Shrek cryptid. No. No! Wait a minute, I think I read this one. Guess I did it twice. Field chance of sting is very low. Granny won't offer you coffee if you have a prison tattoo. Grandma, why? I thought I was your little bubble. Kicking Shiokawa out of school is no longer allowed, you hooligan. Probably fixed a bug causing the game to crash when the changelog contains text. Now you can once again bask in the glory of those super long change notes. Yay! All praise Archanim for spending the past hour trying to fix this poor arch. I'm actually the one writing this. 
There is an issue under certain circumstances whereby the quest guidance icon for the objective cut the meat in the world quest, a dish beyond mortal ken, will float. Travelers who encounter this issue can try using characters to attack the quest indicator icon as a temporary fix. If the issue persists, travelers can report the issue through the feedback tab in the Paimon menu. So how many primo gens did you guys get for that? August 5th, patch notes. Fix bug regarding sword unsheathing. Re-added the ability to pet corrupted friend drones. You could at least try and humanize them. We see you pushing them into the blue drone vets. Fix the ability deactivates deactivating floor traps. And fix player's immunity to friendly fire. Have fun. Hang... Hangy... Briarhorn Hatchling has been struck by the curse of the flesh and is now properly beast type. Was mechanical type for some reason. Biddly bop, you done fucked up. Me? I am a normal girl who has normal thoughts all ye time. They should give me landmines. Petition to start doing reboots of popular shows, but instead of original endgames, it's the most popular ships that become canon. <gasps> Pokemon Season 1 finally do the thing? DM, the platypus attacks you. Player, I block their attack. Y you mean? Yes, I parry the platypus. Ah, ah, he said it, he said it. As important as explicit gay rep is, nothing will ever be funnier to me than an entire fandom collectively deciding a relationship between these two characters is gay without even a shred of subtext. This post is indeed about Tom Nook and Red's divorce. I'm not showing signs of mental illness. I'm hiding them very well, actually. I don't understand, Sonic. Why didn't he just use his skills at being fast to hurt Eggman until he dies? Hedgehogs have no understanding of the concept of death, so the thought of killing Eggman never occurs to him. Catholic guilt. The research teams mumble satisfactorily and deploy food pellets for the two of you. Oh yeah. Came back Wong from the ghost he stole. Forgot something. <gasps> My uncles! Massive news for linguists! The Sphinx of Black Quartz has just befriended the quick brown fox and the lazy dog. Hooray! Well, if he's your man, then why is he my thematic parallel, hmm? There's a knight in my backyard stabbing the ground with his sword trying to render my sorrel barren by killing the worms, but luckily I've trained them all in classical ballet and they keep pirouetting away from the blade. You know, you can't get sentences like this anywhere else. One time I dreamt Matt Pat stole my car to sell drugs. Well, he's taking retirement well. Is this like the seventh secret ending? <laughs> Why are you following the boobs and ass artist? Why do you think I'm following the boobs and ass artist? Do you think I go to the grocery store ironically too? Can you can you please reblog your boobs and ass artist? Fear of God in my heart seeing this notification. You know, Tumblr should have a specific button that goes, I want to see posts like this, but not the same one for the next 50 days. On the contrary. I want a button that lets you see the same post for 50 days. How do people read big fanfics in like two days? Insomnia. ADHD. Depression. Hey guys, press F to horse. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I don't care if you skip story cutscenes, even though you're missing half the experience, like whatever. But if you then turn around and complain that the game doesn't make any sense, I sentence you to 10,000 years in the acid fire death pit. I am looking at you, Arnold Warnold Hanson Manson. I'm a woman in the same way a tomato is a fruit. For New York import tax purposes? U.S. Americans really do love making posts about parking lots. I met God in a parking lot, fighting my ex in a parking lot. It's like the main biome. Have you been to America? Yes, it is. What is this teepee holder? <laughs> Pissy puss. So cool that when I say hi to a cat and they do a big stretch, like, I don't think that has anything to do with the words I just said to you, I said, but I think it's awesome that you got along. Water is so tasty and tastier than any of your foolish monster drinks. This is so true, I'm sorry. This vlog is sponsored by Big Water now. Let's just show that when I say Big Water, I don't mean like Nestle or any company of the sort. I mean like the looming ancient gods known as the Water Towers. Kill me once. Shame on you. Kill me twice. How did you do that? Kill me three times. This time loop fucking sucks.
Oh god, I'm getting killed the fourth time! Holy crap. I just remembered. I contain bones. Sometimes fiction doesn't have a moral to the story. Sometimes fiction points at something and goes, Ever thought about that? And you look at what it's pointing at, just for, for a bit. I'm like, oh! Okay then. Me, chat, what do we think? The angel and the devil on my shoulders. Can, Can you, you not, not call, call us that, that please? please? Uh, it's always inherited trauma and never inherited gothic castle in the Transylvanian mountains. Ugh. They are called, like, smaller viruses trying to make it to the big leagues of virus fame? D d yes. Call out post where it becomes more and more obvious that the person writing the call out has a massive crush on the problematic individual. Ah, Jolene. Yo, I forgot I had boobs and was in for the fright of my life when I looked down. This is why they start with BOO, I think! Investing at seven notes. What if dark matter is just wrinkles in the fabric of space-time because no one has ever ironed it? Huh... I don't know how I feel about that. This is the hill you want to die on? Oh no, I just love arguing. I fully intend to leave this hill once it gets boring. Sorry for the confusion. Alternatively, this isn't the hill I want to die on, it's the hill I want to kill you on. Actually, you know what? A Nut Zero Information post teaches you a concept that others believe, or maybe that you would have believed, but isn't true. There's information there. It's like learning trivia, but instead of telling others, you can correct them if they have an incomplete understanding. For those of you that need clarification on what a Nut Zero Information post is, may I recommend? The Tumblr post about the guy on Vine that would climb around Charlotte's flowers in his head and he'd keep seeing my berries. The post claimed that he was a CIA plant put on Vine to track down leftist activists. <laughs> Who decided that dragons have arms? They, they don't need them. Dragons need arms to hug. God damn it, you're right. Now hold it. If they're like a serpent dragon, they could hug you by just wrapping around you. And honestly, that sounds, that sounds way better. Dude, lesbian orc bars would be crazy. Not gonna lie, when I read bars, I wasn't thinking of the place where you drink and hook up. I was picturing lesbian orcs rapping, and I still thought, so true. Well, it's open mic night at the lesbian orc bar. Lesbian orc bards at the lesbian orc bar? Is this anything? Not gonna name names, but some of you are sweet and kind and deserve the world that I'm rooting for you. Dan. Toskarin, what's, what's your job? I operate the terrible machine. Can you make it a little less terrible? Only lever I can pull makes it worse, but I'm doing it slowly because I believe in change from inside the system. Hell yeah. One time I dreamt I was watching some video and they said, Well, you know what they say, a cameraman can grift twice, but a camera can only grift once. And I spent the rest of the dream trying to figure out what the fuck any of that meant. Recipes will be like, prep time, three minutes. And the ingredient list is like, two sweet potatoes peeled and diced. Like, girly, they don't, they don't come like that. Recipes will be like, cook potatoes until soft, about five minutes. Baby doll, you are on bath salts right now. Uber driver who, when you eat in their car, reaches behind the seat and does the dad hand thing. You know what I'm talking about. And honestly, my driver did that. I'd give them something. They're driving me home. Perceive with your eye spheres. The Great Eared Nightjar. Th this is a dragon. How is it possible for an animal to resemble a bird, a mammal, and a reptile simultaneously? Those are great ears. They didn't even show off their insane mouth. Ah! I'm actually very normal. If you ignore everything I've ever said, no. You know, April Fool's Day is actually the most sensible day of the year because it's the only day on which people will read something on the internet and stop for a second to consider whether or not it's actually true. Ah, uh, the good old days. Well, hi! So, this is a Rickroll. Please visit YouTube.com, type never gonna give you up in the search bar, then click on the first video that comes up. Thank you for your consideration. 2009 DeviantArt artist telling you to fill an entire lair with neon green and place it behind your line art to check if there's any unwanted stray lines or unfilled pixels. Were the elderly sages at the end of the spirit path atop a secluded mountaintop you reached just as the sun was setting? And nowadays DeviantArt is telling us that their top rated artists are the ones using AI. <laughs>
oh, oh, okay, you keep, you, you can stop booping me now. Please. I like when people say, how could you eat an innocent animal? Because it implies it's okay to eat guilty animals. Every chicken I have ever tasted the flesh of was convicted of a jury by their peers for arson, murder, tax evasion, and especially, etc. Generating a seed for a Zelda randomizer like unravels your personal timeline and makes every event of your life play out in a random sequence. Yeah. <laughs> Harsh writing advice. Your project isn't garbage. You just need to go to bed. All right, first of all, how dare you? Directors using colorful or impossible lighting to convey mood and meeting and beauty, my beloved. Directors making night scenes impossible to see for the sake of realism, my beloved. I always think about my cousin in Greece who's like obsessed with American culture because I'll say that I'm going to a barbecue and she'll be like, wow, a real life American barbecue. <gasps> will, there, will there be red cups? You bet your ass there'll be red cups. Take my hand. Have a hot dog. All of your dreams can come true at the real life American barbecue. Well, that's a country song in the making. A tiny old woman came into the deli and ordered a wonderful turkey sandwich. And when asked what she wanted on the sandwich other than turkey, she said, All of your most wonderful toppings. <laughs> you better gave that nice old lady the best sandwich of her life. Voice of guy about to scroll Tumblr for the next two hours. Okay, it's finally happening. I'm doing it. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to write. I'm going to do it. Thinking about AUs for OCs is so funny. Like... I already put this guy in a situation, but what if I put him in another totally different one? And he'll never know, unless I want them to. <laughs> Just grinned at a tree because it was so green. What being inside all day does to a motherfucker. Do you guys think cavemen argued with each other about media consumption? Hmm. Greg spent too much time listening to story. <laughs> <laughs> He's terminally wall painting. <laughs> Who needs eyeliner when you have bags that frame your eyes beautifully? I know kindness exists because I am kind. People aren't good. I am people. I am good. You are wrong. Why, well, it's very simple. The boundless sorrow surrounding each mask comes rushing inside the wearer when they put it on. So the urge to scream is... Quite understandable, really. Well, the developer just explained why Link cries out whenever he puts on a transformation mask. What the fuck? It's very simple. A developer. Yo, that's literally the happy mask salesman. Yeah, like they said. The developer. Yearning for the day when people stop creating annoying low-effort gimmick blogs. Beep! <laughs> the fucking URL. <laughs> Chiz is just a loaf of milk. You know, she's right, and I'm scared. This implies a liquid form of bread. Beer. Fuck. No offense, but you guys need to learn the difference between someone implying their existence is universal and a post simply just not being about you. Show me where I made this mistake. Cite a specific time when I misinterpreted a post in this manner. It's... One time I dreamt my neck was slowly getting longer and longer, and no matter what I did, I couldn't get it to stop, so I just ended up sitting on the floor crying with my neck wrapped around me like a snake. Making a potion called Panic Attack by putting Red Bull in my game of sups. Don't do this. Man, I feel bad for bi-gender people. The commute between Jupiter and college has got to be rough. <laughs> That's good. You're neat. I like you. I love posts. They're like if words were stupid. Maybe yours. I'm a philosopher king. You are here enjoying two to eighteen beers. Wh why am I in the Andromeda Galaxy? Wizard's curse. You know, Bugs Bunny could have simply walked into Mordor. He would have shown up at the gates of Mordor in disguise and been like Evil Volcano Inspection Unit and flashed a fake ID badge to the confused orc. I love the implication here that the one ring would have little to no effect on bugs. Ladies, you should be able to switch from a melee build to wizard build anytime you want. Respect women. 
We sentence you to trying to get your mother to admit she's been wrong before. Can you just put me in jail, please? I don't care what genre your fictional world is. Put a talking skeleton in it now! Life is beautiful when you have a sword in the audacity. The clover has finally grown enough for her to munch on again. Look at that sweet bearded dragon. She's thriving. The Lion King prequel image reveals young Mufasa looking over Pride Lands in live action. Alright, stop. That's just a whole ass regular lion, Disney. Don't even lie to me. They should invent joints that don't hurt. Holy fuck, are you smoking them that it hurts? Oh shit, you mean like boys. We related misunderstanding. Ugh. Manga lied to me. I never see bad boy types protecting stray kittens, therefore revealing to me their soft side. It's always me picking up the cats. <gasps> Wait, maybe I'm the bad boy. What if instead of stepping outside my comfort zone, I step into an even comfier zone? Like just, it, it, it's, it's a blanket, it's got a pillow, it, it's got a, a bed, it's my bed, yeah, it's my bed. Don't make me leave it. Microdosing polyamory by dating a system. Macrodosing polyamory by dating two systems. You, you're onto something. Oh, hi, Jojo. Did you want to join in the video? Do you want to say hi? Come here. Come on. We interrupt this Tumblr reading for Kitty. We got like a baby. Yeah. Alright guys, gotta get back to work. Okay. Off you go. Thank you. No, little punk girl, don't walk into the lightning storm. Your outfit is so conductive, little punk girl, no! The lightning strikes her eyebrow piercing and travels down the spines on her jacket to the chains on her pants down the hooks of her boots till it's grounded in the two inches of rubber at the bottom of her stompers. And she blinks comically, pulls out a mirror, admires her newly fried hair, and walks away happily. Gosh, she sounds cool. Huge fan of when my speech patterns rub off on people. Enjoy when that happens. Never mind, your grandma just said skill issue. Ah, oh, come on, Lazarus, don't be cringe. Amtrak, opinion on current cheese prices? How am I supposed to make 73 charcuterie boards for my event with these cheese prices? Oh my god, he's only gonna be able to make 72. Did you know this mania that brings you joy has actually been deemed objectively bad and cringed by the Twitter and amateur YouTube critic council? Yeah, I did. I just simply don't let other people's opinions dictate my own. It's one of your mother's favorite things about me. You know, we used to be able to change the orientation of a window screen by hitting control all air, okay? The teachers would all flip their shit because they didn't know how to put it back and we wouldn't tell them. There were incidents. We used to be a country. And now we're just a tree of c- Tylenol is a girl's gender neutral best friend. Maybe Kane. <laughs> Fuck, I already know where this is going. <clears throat> Maybe Kane wouldn't have killed Abel if they had video games to healthily channel the violence between siblings. <laughs> Unfortunately, back then, the only Smash Brothers they had. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Was Smash Brothers hanging with a rock? Alright, everyone, reblog with your most unemployable traits. Okay, so... I have no idea what I'm doing, but it's working is basically my catchphrase now. Behold, the Muppets come at the frog branding iron. Mark of the Beast. What color is the night? Breaking news. This motherfucker was caught being cringy in the privacy of their own home. <gasps> oh my god. Today's mood, a dramatic goth draped gracefully on an overhead luggage rack on some form of public transport. Ah, oh, the good old days. Your Honor, my client should be at the club. I know what you're thinking. Thank God this Tumblr user isn't an actual licensed attorney. Well, <laughs> bad, bad news, news. kids. <laughs> Hey, I'll respect your opinion as long as your opinion doesn't disrespect anybody's existence. This phrase should be written everywhere around the world. 
If y'all are so desperate for a black circle with a bright ring around it in the sky, why not consider adding a small black hole to the solar system? Could be kind of fun. I think you've always is on some here. Are you okay? Bro, I am like completely disconnected from reality right now. Salmon caught near Seattle overloaded with antidepressants, cocaine, and more. Work hard, party harder! You know, you gotta respect the bit. You don't have to like it, but you gotta respect it. A player in response to the GM's creepily, accurately voiced Mickey Mouse Eldritch Horror. Become one with the all consuming <laughs> Why does Super Mario 64's secret aquarium exist? Like, like genuinely? One new thing does it bring to the table other than the fact that you can swim into the corners of a box? But is, is, does somebody want Mario to be a fish? You want him to be like that fish from Shark Tale? You want him to be Shark Tale? You want him to be Will Smith? I think you want him to be Will Smith. You know, Narcissus never ascended to become Nartransis. Narcissus died incomplete. The stigma of self-inserts is so harmful to the creative process. Just relax. Admit, admit it. Everything you make is derivative of yourself, always. No exceptions. You can turn the mirror into tinier and tinier shards, or you can make it as big as you want to reflect as much as you want. At the end of the day, it's always going to show you inside of it. Pretending otherwise is stupid. If you're writing from personal experience, guess what? It's now self-insert. I would call my wedding five minutes before it started if I found out my fiancé said GIF instead of GIF. Well, he doesn't deserve you then, now does he? It said not to open with a sharp instrument, so I used a B-flat tin whistle. Imagine, if you will, humans are a subspecies of elf known for dying really quickly and being stressed the whole time. Yeah, I'll go ahead and add that to my lexicon of headcanons, thank you. Due to inflation, you must answer my riddles five. Due to budget cuts, I will grant you two wishes. Due to recent layoffs, there was only one of me, and I lie 50% of the time. Hey, is Groundhog Day the movie a roguelike? Hmm. Yeah, it really does put things in perspective, doesn't it? Now that I am an adult, I am starting to realize media lied to me about the availability of rooftops to go hang out on. Every day, I wish I could be hanging out on a rooftop somewhere looking cool as fuck. Yeah, I think you gotta go to, like, New York City for that one. And even then, you gotta face the dreaded thing called New York City rent. Yeah, dude, I drink a lot. I drink parties all the time. Yeah, you heard that, right? Nine Capri Suns. Nine. 45 minutes. Damn, that sounds like the coolest kid at the party. Fuck. Shapeshifter who keeps rapidly shifting form while they sleep like how dogs run while they're dreaming. Oh, that sounds adorable and terrifying. <sighs> he is not an ubu soft boy. He is a tweaked out crackhead with an anxiety disorder. He just sounds like he needs a good man in his life. What is skin if not a Ziploc bag for your meat? Thanks, I appreciate it. Ugh, why bother arguing in support of trans people if you're not trans? Well, you know, a very simple concept called believing in human rights. I don't know how to explain to you that you should care about other people. Fuck off with your toxic I'm the only character that matters energy. Writing prompt. In a generic fantasy world, there is a handsome and noble prince riding a white steed who seeks justice and chivalry above all. Except people's expectations have been subverted so many times, they automatically think he's a twist villain. No, no guys, I, I'm not the villain, that's my sister. Then you don't actually want to fight her and we'll side with her in the end? No, no. we don't get along and hate each other. How is that hard to understand? I love when things I post in PM's Discord server get reactions. It's like positive peer review. It's also how you end up in the videos most of the time. Literally, I don't read most of them all the time. If I just see positive reactions, I'm like, Yeah, that's one. Let's put it in. Hello. She said in a voice so husky it could pull a dog sled. Fuck. My therapist, listing the many mental disorders I have. Me. I am so sane. The most normal, stable person ever. OCD. Overly chill disorder. PTSD. <laughs> panic at the disco. I'm literally fine. Wait a minute, do, do not use plate to open. Wait, 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 
Stop, you're hurting him! Nah. The urge to disappear versus the desire to be wanted and accompanied. Uh, two vast and trunkless legs of stone. Look upon my blocks, ye busters, and despair. Wheel of Fortune contestant who's sopping wet. Can I buy a towel? Wheel of Fortune contestant who likes birds. Can I buy an owl? Wheel of Fortune contestant who likes gardening. Can I buy a trowel? Is this anything? Live like a moth, dissolve into goo, abandon your old life, father the lights, bonk, 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 bonk. Hey, anyone seeing weird, mysterious failures on Tumblr? Yeah, but you don't have to call us out like that. Network failures. Network failures. Oh. Top tier character building device in Pokemon games is when a seemingly antagonistic character has a Golbat on their team, and then later it has evolved into a Crobat, which requires significant friendship, the signaling that the character was always a kind person inside, or is growing past their issues and learning to be a kinder person, or may hold a spark of kindness that undermines their cold and calculating image. Meanwhile, get sis or get sis or get this or get us or whatever, I don't f f fucking know. Nor do I really care. Who is an antagonist who pretends to be an advocate for Pokemon rights, faces off against you with an underleveled Hydreigon, which in the canon lore of the series only happens when someone forces evolution early, and that Hydreigon uses a full power frustration in Black 2 and White 2, suggesting that it absolutely loathes Gethus, get us, get a, get a big, get a boy, get, get that boy. For any non-Pokemon players, in Pokemon games, there's a hidden stat called Friendship, which maxes out at 255 points. There are two major moves that are affected by this. Return, which gets stronger the higher a Pokemon's Friendship stat is, capping at 102 base power with 255 Friendship. For context, Hyper Beam has a base power of 150. And Frustration, which does the opposite, getting stronger the lower the Pokemon's friendship stat is, capping out at a 102 base power when the Pokemon is at zero friendship. The extra fucked up thing is, almost no Pokemon has a base friendship of zero. The only Pokemon that do are Legendaries and Boneary. So, Gethys, or G G Gattaby, Gattaboy, actively lowered his High Dragon's friendship, and the only way to do that in-game is to let your Pokémon faint often without using healing items on them. In other words, Gethys, Gethys, Gaboy, Jaboy, is a major cunt. Well, what's up with Baneri? Baneri fucking hates you by default. It's also another friendship-dependent evolution line. And for all others who are clueless in the poking men, this is the tiny bunny that fucking hates you. Boneri hates your guts with the force of gods. And... <sighs> Can you really fucking blame her? Like, I think Boneri knows what artists have done to her evolved form. Give me your most controversial music opinion. The Beatles were one ugly guy moving really fast. I'm gonna need a minute. The boss baby was just Stewie Griffin for children. Attention, Joanne shoppers. There is a freak in the yarn aisle building if a nest. Live, nothing wrong with me. Laugh, nothing wrong with me. Love, nothing wrong with me! Wonder what this 200-year-old salamander thinks about. No problems. I have proficiency in both ranged and deranged combat. <laughs> Netflix be like, we're adding One Piece to Netflix. Oh boy, all the episodes? Nope. Oh, are you are you cutting filler arcs? Nope. Then, then what are you adding? Twelve episodes starting at 1089. Fellas, is it legal to pirate the pirate anime? The kingdom of isolation, and it looks like I'm a queen. Ka-chow. Delete this! Sometimes when Rabbit is falling asleep but wants to stay awake, she fights the sleepy so hard she gets airplane ears. I need her to stop fighting. Nothing about your life demands you to be awake, Rabbit. What is the most complicated way to cook an egg? Atmospheric re-entry. Shit, they right. <clears throat> Just ended an important email with bye, colon three.
I can never return to society. I can literally always make more blood. Renewable resource. Not sharing it would be so selfish on my part. There's no justification for it. Is this post about vampires or about donating blood? Who knows? You know damn well. Hey, who the fuck switched my trash can with a slightly worse trash can? Ah, <sighs> Onion is such a good cat name, actually. Normally, I don't like when people give cats human names, but I'll make an exception in Onion's case. How many people named Onion do you know? <sighs> Nowadays, so many Tumblr posts are just about Tumblr. We're running out of things to talk about. Yeah, well, I switched my trash can with my neighbors today because theirs is nicer. <gasps> you! Save me, hot shower. Hot shower, save me. Guy tries to toss a cigarette on the ground, but the ground parries it and it flies back into his mouth and he solemnly continues to smoke it. Don't litter. At the beach, straight up getting it. And by it, <laughs> well... Let's just say, Mr. Old. I think we could all benefit from a local train line having a stop within about a half a mile of our house. God, so true. We out here standing directly behind horses and making loud noises. I love you. The world needs more pain. Well, I hate you. There isn't enough pain. These are the two horses I'm standing behind and they both kick me and their opposite energies cancel each other out and I walk away, okay? Except for these two oddly shaped hoof bruises on my face. Behold, girl buried with a crown of ceramic flowers, Patris, 300 to 400 BC, from the Museum of Patris. Rip, Lana Del Rey. Tumblr isn't a social media. It's, it's a habit, like smoking. We're all gathering by the dumpster in the cold, reblogging posts. And yet we seem the most thriving right now. Funny how that works. The neurodivergent experience is talking about your brain as if it's a separate entity from yourself. I mean, it is, but like, God. No, I didn't miss that social cue. I just thought it was stupid. I saw your social cue, but I'm going to ignore it in hopes you learn to use your words and communicate like an adult. Hope this helps. I haven't been on Tumblr in years, and I'm surprised that you still post. Holy shit. A year in your world is but a day in mine. You're just a flicker. Sparking impermanently against the endless eruptions of a star. Unalive should just mean the opposite of undead. If undead means an undead thing that's alive, unalive should mean that it's an alive thing that's dead. No, I don't have any examples. Yet. Retail employees. Lifeguards waking up at 4 a.m. on swing shifts. We should have foreshadowing in real life. Like I'm walking down to the shops and say, Oh boy, I hope I don't get crushed in a human-sized mousetrap today. Scully, you're not going to believe this. I'll get some drawing done when I head home. I said to myself, like an idiot and a liar. What is photosynthesis? Putting entire sun directly into your mouth for energy. God, my friend's cat doesn't care about anything. <laughs> Little Pepsi boy. Hey, is that simple task bothering you, Queen? Sh shut up, no it's not! Hey, is it normal, dude? Doesn't matter, do it weird if it isn't hurting anyone. Oh god, please be weird. Life is short, way too short to worry if you're being weird or normal. If it isn't hurting you or someone else, do it weird. Also, if it's not illegal, do it weird. Reading lyrics to old Minecraft song parodies like they're Bible verses. I know it's not a parody, but... There is something quite mythical about the lyrics, and I quote, I am a dwarf, and I am digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole. Diggy diggy hole. I just woke up, and I'm so tired, I thought Tess was short for... Tessica. Fucking Tessica, holy shit. And now, two different kinds of black cats. A comprehensive guide. No, there are not any more different kinds. I've heard so many what-ifs I don't fucking care anymore. The mysterious, aloof, and elegant one that movies talk about. <coughs> and the creature. Can you keep it false with you, Chief? I'm gonna lie to you. And I am not Slash J right now. I don't think Spiky Isopods are talked about enough. Look at these guys. Mm. Ooh, little Sonic the Hedgehog type enemies. 
saw a post about con artists, and I was like, why would someone who sells art at conventions be trying to scam grandmothers? That doesn't even seem like a good place to find grandmothers. Give it about 50 years, a lot of Fujoshis are going to become grandmas at that point. Me, Google's how to stop having crushes on fictional characters. Google, stop consuming the media they're from? D no. I would love if you type that in Google and it just sends you, like, a picture of grass. It's like, just, just touch it. Oh, sure, dreams about your teeth falling out aren't fun, but the opposite scenario in which teeth come flying out of nowhere and embed themselves into your gums is far more upsetting. I don't, I don't even have a quip for that. That sounds terrifying. Ugh, not everything has to be about lesbians. I mean, true, but why limit ourselves? But everything can be about lesbians. Therefore, everything should be about lesbians. And that's how Owl House got made. Uh, they need to invent a writing that's easy. Monkey Paw Finger Curls and another AI generative text program is born. Wait, no, I didn't say I wish! Oh, if only you knew the amount of stories you planted in my mind when you ran. I'm sorry, what? I need to be kidnapped by kind aliens who take me to the alien vet and they know exactly what's wrong with me and they cure me and feed me nutritious meals. I wouldn't mind being in an alien zoo with proper human enrichment. What if Earth is the enrichment, though? Rice Krispies' smartest decision is by far their treat. Turning their cereal into a strange brick relies on the natural fact that all children are hopelessly dependent upon the ingot. <clears throat> Ace Attorney Ghost Trick Professor Layton is like Super Hulak for people who like Nintendo DS visual novels. You know, you don't just say the truth out loud like that. That's the kind of statements that start wars. When your own OC becomes your Blorbo, it is both glorious and torturous. In Japanese, they don't say moon, they say suki, which literally translates to moon, and I think that's how language works. Hey, it's been at least nine years, anything changed? Nope, all quiet on the linguistic front. I am a girl now, though. Neat! You know what really gets my goat? El Chupacabra? You can recognize yourself through the fictional character. But watch out. The life restoring extremely overdue haircut. Such wise words from the voice actress for Sonic. Ha 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 ha! One! Hedgehog. Behold, I'm going to fucking die disease. Symptoms. One nostril is blocked at night when you go to sleep. Stop making fun of it! It's serious! You know, I didn't think I would have a fetish for collecting data on people. But then I came to my... Senses. God fucking damn it. Reverse cowgirl? You mean, uh, fry cook? All right, so let me elaborate. Cowgirl, works outdoors, raises cows, travels a lot, big hat, presses hot metal onto a cow. Fry cook, works indoors, cooks cows, stays in one place, small hat, presses cow on hot metal. Sandy Cheeks and SpongeBob? Hey, bro, let me stuff this toy with PS1s. I'm going to kill the Tumblr game with this one. What? How much cake does Jesus have? I don't know, like eight slices? What do you want from me? Oh, I just reread the username. Uh, oh, 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 you meant something else. What's your favorite drink, bakery cakes? Milk, baby! What the fuck It's wrong with you? My bones know of your sins. You know, they used to make smackable technology. You used to be able to hit your TV when it didn't work good. Gotta give that shit five across the face to get to channel five! So, in Elden Ring, the second generation Albanorix dress in drab and ragged clothes, are born without the grace of Erdtree, and have big, dumpy, frog-like heads. In other words... Frog. How to win brownie points with me? You see a mushroom, you show it to me! Mushroom anything! I bring to you the tiny boys. Holy shit, those are the tiniest boys I've ever seen. How are them boys so tiny? So there's a really loud, confident kid in my class who makes snarky remarks and jokes at everybody. And he doesn't do that to me. So I was like, what's the deal, man? Do you hate me or something? I want to be included. 
and he got really quiet and whispered, I'm afraid of you. I have achieved my dream. Screenshots of Despair presents... Situations will continuously happen. <laughs> A state filled with bunnies. Illinois. Pack your bags, dudes. I know where we're going. Bahayaga. No, bad. Time out corner. Eldritch Blast. So when Jesus rises from the grave, everyone rejoices and it becomes a holiday. But when I, Count Dracula... Uh, I hate work. I should be at the... Remembers I don't want to go to the club. The imagination. Why are you so cool? Adhesive. Wait, this was meant to say ADHD! Mythbusters have three categories of myths. One, the general public doesn't know how physics works. Two, the general public doesn't know how lying works. And three, oh crap, this one's real. Excuse me. Number four, turn up the dynamite, let's make it real. You know, communists and anarchists will spend all day talking about abstract concepts and structures like capitalism in the state, but willfully ignore the very real, tangible curse placed upon me by the foul necromancer. Let's see where their priorities are. I feel a normal amount of emotions about this fictional woman. I promise. Can you get that weird guy out of here, please? I'm starting to feel a little bit flustered, and I don't want to confront and come to terms with that right now. Ah, uh, are you a little horse? You want to eat all your apples, huh? Just said this to my cat as she was walking by me, taking a break from eating her wet treats. Perceive with your Oculus fears. World map with New Zealand in the center. World of Warcraft. Presenting the single funniest thing I will ever find on Facebook Marketplace. The Grimish Jail. I present to you the Mayor McCheese Jail, which was just as weird. You had to climb up into it from a hole in the back of his torso. You know, it's hard to believe my generation was ever expected to turn out normal. PM, respectfully, you have ruined my Tumblr experience because I read every post in your voice. Good. You know, until you are disemboweled, you are simply emboweled. Thanks, I hate it. Ah, boys with loud laughs, less than two. Inequality type O. Thinking outside the box is great until you encounter her. Schrodinger? Why the hell does a roller coaster have a fandom? Because it has lore that could easily be turned into an analog horror ARG series, Susan! On my wife's authority, I have been granted the rank of silly, perhaps also Billy. Kids these days don't know what the fuck a liminal space is anymore, but they use it to describe fucking everything. Okay, liminal. Sounds like something a liminal space would say. Did you guys know about this OC stuff? You, you could just make a guy. It's big of true. But watch out. Dan, your brain now. Uh, reblog if. <laughs> Did you miss me, humans? Now let's party like it was 2019 all over again. Whoa, this is weird. What's weird? This SCP. What is an SCP? It's a community of people who make like these weird creatures that defy the laws of nature. Such as what? Well, one, one of them is an eel that makes you go into insanity, and when it eats a person, it makes a liquid that makes you forget it's called SCP-3000. Wait, so you mean the Antroxia species? The, the what? Yes, it's an EDL species that does just that on a planet. Redacted. About Redacted. light years away. Can I see? Sure, just don't die. Hell yeah, I can't wait. Also, his name is Jerry, not SAP3000. Where do you people even get these names? Human Ted? Mm, yes? This book says you humans only use 10% of your brains. Is this true? Uh, yeah, I think so. Well, that explains a lot. I fear what would happen if you brought it up to 11. Human, what is that you are consuming? Oh, it's an energy drink. Why are you drinking it. Well, some people drink energy to get a boost of stamina, some drink them due to a lack of taurine, which I have, and others drink them just cuz. So, are they good for you? Not really, no. They have to have over 400 calories, a high amount of sugar, and contain a substance called guarana. What's guarana? 
It's a plant with high caffeine content that can lead to seizures, IBS, and glaucoma at high doses, just to name a few. Why do you put it in beverages then? Because we're humans, I thought you would have figured this out by now. You know what, you're right, that's not me. Wait, where are you going, human? The store? To buy stuff? And how do you buy stuff? With money. What is... money? <sighs> Green paper with intricate designs on it. Oh, and also metal that's a circle that can be coated in copper. And that, that, that is valuable. You're right, why is money so valuable? Human, why are you burning your already perfectly edible human wheat food? For the texture and crunch! But, but why? You're burning away some of the nutritional value that your food contains. I do not see why changing the texture and adding the so-called crunch is worth the effort of lowering your nutritional intact. I don't know what to tell you, man. We humans just love our crunchy textures. Oh, for the love of all that is creepy. Um, human, why is there a warning on this peanut butter saying that it contains peanuts? Peanuts are safe to eat, right? For most people, yes, but peanuts are a common food allergy. What is an allergy? Oh, it's when our body randomly decides that something is dangerous to us. So it, so it kind of attacks it and causes your body to swell up or making it hard or impossible for people to breathe? That's horrible. Is there a cure? Not... Really? But if you have a reaction, you can just stab your leg with a device that administers medicine before going to see a doctor. Well, that's good. And this medicine is available cheaply, right? <sighs> there, there, there is no good answer for that. Human, what, what is this? Oh, that's Thomas. He's from a children's show where vehicles talk. And what is this thing called Shed 13? Don't watch that! Your government is collapsing and everyone is screaming and killing each other! Why did I ever think this planet would contain a sensible, peaceful species? Everything is on fire, and all you humans care about are your social media sites and bureaucratic meetings between people with money! I guess I should have warned you about the news, huh? Yes, you should have! Oh, so you read Lovecraft literature. It, yes. Anything that's different from the real deal? Well, oh, a bit of exaggeration here and there. Like Jane, there's... Shab Nigurath is more an equivalent of human soccer mom, and Bob, the Haster, just like yellow, no deeper meaning, everything else is fine. What? But, but what? Well, the race... This race is basically Amish in human culture. They haven't even got the space fair at all. So? How does this Lovecraft human know about them? Oh, shit. Human, why, why are you looking at that rounded stone? <laughs> Don't worry about it, just go inside. Human, I'm very concerned. Your voice sounded different. I'm fine. I don't believe you're fine. Why is there a drop of water on your face? Don't, don't worry about it. Let's just go. Oh, wait. Get the angels, we're so back! I d wait, what? I thought we were done. Wait, where's Barnaby? Ah, don't worry about it. He's taking care of other projects. But you and me again! Back at it! Look, it's... What was the human year? 2017? Yeah, that's the one. Let's do it. Alright, take a noodle. And? Seriously? J just, just a noodle? Alright, fine. I'll make it blind and deaf. That's even worse. And make it eat dirt. Okay, so you take a spider. Oh, not again. Make it look like completely different from other spiders. Wait, what? No, make it so that people will think that they look cute. Think I'm starting to get it now? No. Make them be able to jump so quickly, it will look as if they blink out of existence. How did, how did you even... Never, never mind. Take that wolf. Okay. Now make it smaller and solitary as opposed to in packs. A little lonely, but okay. Now make them orange or white. Ooh, nice color palettes. Now make them fluffy. Aww. Now make them both absolute geniuses and complete morons at the same time. Those are so contradictory. Now make them impossible to domesticate. All this intelligence that the humans don't even get to use them. And make them popular with memers and furries. Wait, that's a furry. That's not your jurisdiction, that's Barnaby's. Don't worry about it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Remember crabs? Yeah. Make it longer and brown. Okay, seems normal. I'm scared. What? No, 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 no. 
Re really? Okay, make one claw twice as big and able to crush rocks, and the second one half the size and able to rip things apart. Three, two, one. Ooh! And also the world's most tastiest thing when boiled alive! I knew it. Maybe the earth is looking a bit bland. Oh, what can we do? <gasps> oh, I got an idea! What? This blue liquid. Huh? Put it all over the earth. Uh... Um, okay, is there any use? Oh yeah, oh, make yeah, humans yeah. Drink, it. drink it. Oh nice, like a sweet drink. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh no. Make it so it tastes so disgusting. disgusting. So why do they drink it? <laughs> they kill it without it. Okay. And it falls from the sky. Ah, so they'll never run out. Only three... <laughs> Only three percent of it is useful. <laughs> and then I'm gonna, like, gonna start selling it to each other. Mm, you know what, take those seagulls. Okay. Make them trashy. They look like trash, they eat trash, they live in big cities to be near the trash. But, but why trash, though? And have everyone think their government security cameras are spying them. Why? Because it'll be funny. Actually, you know what? I better idea. Make one of them a drone. Okay. Ooh, alright. Take this little gray jelly bean. Okay. Make it so small humans can't see it. Weird, but okay. Give it a hole for a mouth and six legs. What? Call it a tardigrade. Do you want the Frank? Make them live everywhere, and humans call them water bears. <laughs> Alright, take a lizard. Okay? Make it like a thousand times bigger. What? Give it bat wings. Okay. Make it love shinies. Okay, it doesn't love shiny things. Okay, this actually looks pretty cool. Now set its lungs on fire. What? Just do it! Shit. This is this is way too cool for humans to have. We're gonna have to take this one. Hey! You know those uh, spiders we made the other day? Yeah. Okay, so basically, make their venom way weaker so it's only itchy and not deadly. Okay, go, going pretty good. Then make them, like, really small. Okay, that's... that's fine. Alright, now... <clears throat> Make them suck mammal blood and occasionally give deadly diseases. And did I mention that they can fly? Why? Just why? Do not question me. Just don't. Don't. Right, that one's a little complex. Um. All right, get those small squishy things. The uh, slug. Now slap a rock on its back. Why? Why, why do I even do this? Okay. Take a pig. Okay. Make it like bananas. Give it anger to rival wasps. Why would you do this? Okay. I'll put him in Arizona. Well, at least it's not Australia this time. All right, all right. Last one for the day. Last one for the day. Okay. <clears throat> Take a mouse. Okay. Now make its ears smaller and make its tail way smaller. Finally, a normal, normal ass animal. And now make their balls bigger than their head. Oh, for the love of... Wait, wait, hold on. Humans, humans made a, humans made an anime about this? They made an anime about us? Oh, did you know about this? Which one of us do you think's the waifu? Is it me? Probably me. A new cat girl virus is spreading across the nation. If you see any signs of cat-like behavior, please report us to your local doctor immediately. I will, thank you. Wait, did you say nation? I'm so normal about the female characters in Spider-Verse. You don't even know I feel a not mole amount of excitement whenever one of them comes on screen. That's a lie. Dear Professor, this assignment did not nourish my fundamentally curious soul, so I did not do it. No penalty, full 100 points, please, goodbye. I have blue hair and pronouns. And I am seeking someone with red hair and pronouns to comedically fight with me for all eternity in a slapstick, silly manner. Can we do this instead? Hey man, I found a piece of your soul stuck in text messages of old friends you don't speak to anymore. You want it back? <laughs> yes, I do. Pugicho, should I break up with my roommate? We're not dating or anything, but the friendship is getting a little homoerotic and I'm scared of intimacy. Get more homoerotic. Pounds monster at 9 p.m. Why can't I ever sleep at night? Wait, I mean the drink like good. Hey, can I come over and stare at you like this? Wow, people born in 24 are like 2,000 now. 
It's crazy, right? Yeah, oh, sorry about your boyfriend. Yeah, we tried to activate his effect and he got negated by a hand trap. Yeah, yeah he got sent to the graveyard. We tried to get him out, but they chained call by the grave. He got banished. Sorry. I love Bohemian Rhapsody, especially that part when Freddy Venus says it's Fandango time and then he frays all over the place. Ooh, Tumblr didn't like that one. You, you have issues. <gasps> you noticed. Has anyone else noticed music? This stuff's pretty insane. Hang on, let me check this out. Holy shit. Um, uh, I don't have any tinnitus. I have an angel who lives in my blood and she likes to sing for me. Okay. One time I dreamt in a PM Seymour video, he read a post that said, All my friends call me Polnareff with the image of Polnareff from JoJo, and started laughing hysterically. All my friends call me Polnareff. <laughs> Dragon boyfriend that takes you to his cave, picks you up, then lays you on his pile of gold and jewels and says, You're his greatest treasure. Then he fucks you, and then he fucks you. Yeah. Growing up with autism, the story of the ugly duckling really resonated with me. For I too was ostracized by my peers because I like to honk and bite people. <laughs> I installed Skyrim on the pit boy in Fallout 4. It's what Hod Towered would have wanted. I don't know what to say. I'm at a. I'm at a. <sighs> I'm at a loss for words! Human, I do not understand why your science fiction always depicts spaceships fighting at insanely close range. What do you mean? I mean even your real-world military vessels have sufficient sensor technology to fight well beyond such distances. And in space, you need not worry about a horizon interfering with those sensors. Surely a species is militaristically creative as yours would have realized that spaceships broadsiding each other at distances less than their own length is absurd. I mean, I guess, but if the ships are too far apart to see each other, how are you supposed to fit them on the screen? I mean, if you can't see what's going on, it's not very interesting, is it? That is the most intelligent and reasonable answer to any question I have ever asked you. Either that or I've gotten dumber. Human, what are you giving that child? Oh, it's a, it's a Nerf gun. You're giving a child a weapon of war? No, 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 no. It's a toy gun that fires small, near-harmless foam darts. Children use it all the time in Nerf Wars. Children simulate warfare for entertainment? Let me... let me never introduce you to video games. What's with this so-called Blorbo? Oh, it's basically a fictional character that someone really likes. Sometimes a bit... much. And what happens if they like this character too much? This... this is not a good answer. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that?! Human, I have a question. Sure, go ahead. So, I've been doing some research here and there, and I keep coming across mentions of... Neanderthals. What are they? Oh, those guys. Uh, so, uh, picture a human. Okay. Now I had more muscle and hair. Okay. And then picture them living in smaller groups than you've seen humans living in, all while being shorter than us, too. Okay. And that's practically it. They were essentially another intelligent species before going extinct. <sighs> Let me guess, you humans wiped them out with your aggressive nature. Actually, there's been some evidence that they and humanity interbred with each other, becoming one species instead of two. How is that even possible if the two species were separate species, plus the lack of technology to allow such hybrids to occur? Well, remember how I said Neanderthals were basically smaller and hairier humans? Yes. That's because humans and Neanderthals were very closely related to each other, to be able to have children that were able to make more children of their own. Fascinating. Now what was that part about technology allowing two separate species to have children with each other? I don't think that'd be a wise decision on my part, human. I've seen the Vaporeon meme. Human, what are you doing with our alcoholic drink? Pouring one out for the homies. 
the homies. Well, not everyone who can make it here tonight is here, but they still deserve a drink. So you're pouring it onto the ground. Does this have anything to do with that crabs in a bucket turn of phrase? Maybe a little, now that I think about it. Human Mark, do you know why Human David is screaming while working? Oh, he gets like that whenever something complicated turns up. Like the wiring in some major component is being stubborn. I can only assume that this is unhealthy behavior. Does it not sound like he's having what you humans would call a good time? Oh yeah, no, he isn't. He'll likely be unavailable for a while after he's done. Is there anything I can do to help him from this state of distress? No, not typically. Just let the poor man rest. You son of a- Okay, maybe get whoever designed all this to make the electrical connections less complicated, if at the very least to save others from David's agony. All right, I'll see what I can do. And maybe get human David the wiring layout binders. Yeah, he'd probably appreciate that. Why is your furniture covered in dirt? It's, it's dust. I just haven't cleaned up today. Today? You have to clean it every day? Well, why is there so much dust? It's... Dead skin? What? Humans constantly shed dead skin. The dust has just built up skin cells. Ew, ew, I need disinfectant. Ew, why is it stuck on me? And then he died. What? where am I? Okay, let's get this start. Ooh, you're not the usual intern. What? You're hired. I'm just kidding, he's not dead. Or am I? Nah, he's okay. Oh boy, got both vertigo and tinnitus at the club, a double whammy. I stood completely still in the center of the room. And that's why you're my browser of choice. <gasps> Studies have shown that it do be like that sometimes. Happy birthday. I disrespect the grind. The only grind I respect is, well, <laughs> you know, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. We used to have normalized WUMP. Remember what they took from you. Back in my day, you could write about the most sickeningly vile, atrocious war crimes happening to your Blorbo, and everyone's like, Yeah! They just got it. They understood. Nowadays, you can't even write villains as villains without making it seem like you support the villains as things that they do. What did you expect? Become ungovernable. Look at him. He's at peace. Do I live in fear that one of my original posts breach containment? Or it reaches a wide variety of people? Nope, because I'm not popular. <laughs> I'm gonna send it to the funny man in a spike. No, no, no. He ain't gonna read it. He ain't gonna read it. Oh. Call me a weird-ass social media site because I read it. I know how people's interpretation of Odysseus and Athena's relationship is somewhat toxic, but parental. But I like to think of him as their weird pet. Frog saved from high school dissection. How will I be able to go about my day normally after reading this? Why is it right? I hate the open floor plan that everyone is obsessed with in houses now. I want nooks and crannies and bizarre floor plans. I don't need to be able to see what someone is doing on the other side of the house. I want places to hide and lurk and dwell in the shadows. I am the beast who awaits in the labyrinth. Stop renovating old weird houses into white hotel lobbies, for God's sakes. And seriously, please stop painting walls white. It hurts my brain. To the people who got into Homestuck during the pandemic, congratulations! You understood the assignment. So, it's the month of May, huh? <laughs> well, if you replace the M in May with G, well, you may be surprised at what you find. Gumph? Wait. The problem with autism is sometimes you want to do something brave, but you need someone gently to walk you through each step so you know what will happen. And people don't like doing that. I love working in a lab because they give you a sheet of paper with carefully listed steps and shout, Go, science girl, go! Worst part is the omnipresent fear that there are secret instructions that everyone knows but you, and if you don't do them, it will explode and kill you. Why am I almost 20? Who allowed that to happen? Oh, wait till you're 30. I would do absolutely anything for my friends. Except answer their text messages. You came back wrong, and I am racked with guilt. 
because I cannot bear to see you like this, and I should have let you rest. I loved you so much that I defied death itself, but I do not think either of us are happy. This is what microwaving leftover pizza feels like. Stop it! I was trying to be gothic! <laughs> Get him, boys. The two large bodyguards next to me do not move. Boys, come on, please. One time I dreamt a random old lady walked up to me and asked if I was autistic. I told her I wasn't sure, and she said, Would you like to be? This hawk came into my house this morning and made a complete fool of himself. That face says, Don't look at me. It's not funny. I think we should remind musicians that they can absolutely make up little stories for their songs, by the way. It doesn't have to be about them at all. You can invent a guy and put him in situations to music. It's a time-honored tradition, in fact. Just, just do it. It's Friday. Wait, it's Monday. Post horse mouth, bird. <laughs> Ned, how do I remove him from my memory? You can't. He lives there now. Sorry. Hello, this is Streaming Service Algorithm. You seem to enjoy this movie that can be enjoyed by anyone of any age. Because you liked it, may we also recommend this media property that can only literally be enjoyed by kids and no one else? I just watched Hercules and Disney Plus recommended to me Mickey House Clubhouse. That's... Those are two very different genres! When you actually have to do things. Oh. I'm cringe, but I'm free. I'm cringe, but I'm free. I'm cringe, but I'm free. But God, am I cringe! I'm not a religious person. But if you're out there, giant rat that makes all the rules. Yeah, whose idea was it to put this thing in New Vegas? The genuine question. Mine, because it kicks ass. Wait, why does that name seem familiar? Hold on a second. Oh, oh, he's the guy who made New Vegas, oh. If you're working a full-time job, you should be able to afford to live on your own and have access to food and transportation. I'm gonna be real with you, brother. Everyone deserves this. Not just people working 40 hours a week. I will never quite understand the people that f assume food, getting around, and having just some sort of roof over your head is a privilege and not a right. I keep seeing people talk about their boyfriend slash husband's weaponizing incompetence to avoid grocery shopping or purposely fucking it up. Mine doesn't do that. He'll shop on his own prerogative, like an actually functional adult, and his issue is he occasionally brings home a cursed item like this. What is that? Cup noodles, who made this? Why did you do it? Are you okay? Do we need to call somebody? You know, for being a shadow and two dandelions, that is surprisingly an unnerving image. It seems like it should be a teaser for Good Omens 3. What do you think, Neil Gaiman? One man's hyperfixation is another man's blocked tag. It's actually a good way of putting it. Born to use switches and knobs arranged in a cockpit, each one firing a tactile sensation as you flick it and the mech you're in lurches into action, forced to use touch screens at your desk. <laughs> I'm gonna get more lashes today! Repentant Catholics in the 14th century be like, DELETE THIS OFF MY POST! Yeah, I deleted gender to free up space in my mind for video game music. Aw oh, man, that really does get a lot of the bloatware, doesn't it? You see, the real problem with necromancy is all these necromancers are pursuing immortality instead of dying, so all the good necromancer names are taken for, like, centuries at a time. The other day, I met a guy who called himself Skull James. Coward before the might of Fema Frank. Fuck off, Fema Frank. Your bone magic sucks shit and we all know it. Wait till they meet Clavicle Clive. By the way, the majority of your life will be lived as an adult. Yeah, I don't make the rules. Go have fun in your 40s or 70s or whatever. No one expects you to accomplish everything at 17 or 27. You got time. And in the meantime, get, get some life experience. It'll pay off. Why are you guys trying to do endgame shit at level 18? You, you, it's not, it's not, you're not ready for that. Just stop it. Pirate captain that's always asking his crew whether they hate him or not. Pirate captain sitting on the edge of a plank like, You guys probably want a mutiny anyways. I should just walk off and save everyone the trouble. Is this not One Piece? I feel like Luffy seems like the kind of character who would ask this question all the time. Sir, I'm, I'm very sorry for accidentally putting a price on your son's head. 
said the nervous store clerk to the mob boss. Yeah, he's kind of a putz anyway. Have fun. Oh my god, Austin, hi! Ugh, yucky. Is this anon hate reduced to its most basic form? Yes. Oh, fuck. This is a really good hill. I gotta die on this. Rich people seeing Mount Everest. Hey, hey, you old guy. Guy there watching this video right now, probably eating some food. Because we all gotta eat food while we watch YouTube videos. I don't know, that's a rule. Did you get your lemon plus yet? It's right there. It's waiting for you. I know you want it. You know you want that guy. Look at him. Look how squishy it is. You could, you could hold him with both your hands and just go... Writing prompt. You have one superpower. The ability to know, without fail, what the truth is to any asked question. You planned to help the world as a superhero. It took you only six hours for the government to declare you public enemy number one and the most deadly supervillain alive. And your book will be called The Truth Hurts. You know how sometimes you have a crush and a romantic. No, I don't. Why? Why did you say a romantic like it's a Fallout skill check? It could be. Me looking at a thriving moss colony after a rainstorm. Oh, to be a thriving moss colony. And I thought you couldn't get any hotter. All right, I'm not saying I'm definitely an NPC, but if I am a protagonist. The game I'm starring in is probably free to play. Yeah, that makes sense. I can only do something useful once every few hours. Ads are everywhere. The pacing seems designed to be deliberately frustrating. And a lot of the hassles would go away if I had a ton of money. Oh my god, it all makes sense now. Life is just a free to play video game. Imagine if Toby Fox never released Deltarune until every single chapter was finished. Like, didn't even hint at the idea of such a game would exist, even. We'd be like, man, I love Undertale. I wish Toby would, like, make something else. For years upon years, and then out of nowhere, Toby Fox breaks into your house, bangs pots and pans to wake you up, and goes, you're never gonna believe this. If you use plenty of capital letters, bold and italics, you can't be wrong, and the internet is your oyster to shout whatever you want at. The moon has flesh. Look, you guys, I'm not, I know what you're thinking. Don't, 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 don't! Oh, I'm sorry, I can't hang out. I forgot how to mimic human-like behavior. I mean, if you just want to loom in the corner like some kind of creature, that's cool. We just don't want you getting left out. Baby girl, you won't believe the amount of popular things I don't know. <laughs> like, what the fuck is a Jojo Siwa? You're weirdly obsessed with finding meaning. Yeah, what'd you mean by this? Oh, I'm not flirty or seductive. I'm... My friends have buttons I can press that make them giddy and flustered. And I'm a bitch who stims by pressing buttons. Am I a dog or a cat person? I don't know, man. Are you an inhale or exhale person? Shut the fuck up and hand me a damn animal so I can talk in a weird voice in it! Every post on Reddit is like, My wife left me, so I spent $100,000 on a new man cave. And there's always a stormtrooper of some kind in the room. I've seen this happen so often on Reddit that I now associate Stormtroopers and the entire Star Wars franchise with divorce. May divorce be with you. Gamer boyfriend yells, God damn it, from the other room and throws his headset and you walk in all, What's wrong, babe? And he's playing a story-driven indie game. Sees friend make new OC. Runs and leaps over fence. I have to greet my new godchild! <sighs> Start song over because I was enjoying it hard enough. The guy who fell asleep during a 24-hour marathon playing Majora's Mask will always be fucking hilarious. The moon! It's falling! Ready the moon! Okay, okay, wait. You teach combat to children. Oh, when you put it like that, it sounds weird. It is weird. Why would you do that? Well, to teach them courage, responsibility, respect, and to be a good sport. Well, it's knowing self-defense ain't a bad thing, right? Well, I, I, I guess not. Wait, a good sport? You made sport out of the combat. <laughs> what, what, what was that? Just removed watching MMA from our plan to introduce you to human culture. 
Human, one of your crew has been introducing herself by referring to herself as a Capricorn? Is that a species of human I should know about? Oh, no, 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 no. She was just introducing herself by her zodiac sign. See, back in ancient civilization... I'm going to stop you right there, Human. This human is practicing something terribly outdated and likely a byproduct of ancient misunderstanding. People basically used the month they were born to determine their futures. Were those predictions accurate? Well, they're vague and subject to confirmation biases. Then why does she still use it? If I knew the answer, I'd tell you. And why give the month such a strange name? No, not the month so much as that. The periods were denoted by constellations. Patterns of stars we found in the sky that look like things, which we named. And this Capricorn creature is? A goat with a fish's rear end? What human hallucinated? Oh, rude. How dare you? Human, why did, why did you scold the object? I cannot understand you, you know. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no worries. Uh, no, I know, it's just it's just a thing I do. A lot of humans do uh, that. Should I ask why? Well, it's nothing bad. We just like to joke a little, and instead of berating ourselves, we jokingly berate the object. It makes it feel like it's less our fault, and we can have a bit of a laugh while we pick it up and put it back. Huh. That is an unusual tactic. Excuse you. <laughs> I think I understand you humans just a bit more. Human, what what is this device? Oh, it's a it's a gun we made that shoots giant metal beams at extremely high velocity by using magnets to spin it so fast it breaks things. Ah, oh, I didn't know your species developed countermeasures against the giant space worms. Giant what now? Human, could you enlighten me on a bothersome question? Yeah, what's up? How come you have yet to reach further parts of the solar system you habit within? Well, you see, we have yet to invent the technology to personally level such distances to save time and resources. Surely your kind is doing everything it can to reach these goals, yes? Some of us are. Some? Your species is close to depleting your celestial body of resources! Where have these resources gone to, if not for inventing Planet Traversal? <sighs> it's for militaristic efforts, isn't it? Yeah... Human? Hello? What are you consuming? Macrofish. Keys? Wait, isn't that made of this dairy? Yeah? I thought you could not process this! Of course it does, be damned! I want to look at cheese! How have you survived this long? Uh, I, I'm sorry, human Zachary. I need to say it myself so it seems a bit more clear. Um, okay, I guess. So not only did the bomb explode. Yes. But the scientist was caught in the explosion. Yes. And he didn't die. Yes. Instead, he became this massive, muscle-bound primitive only coming out when expressing emotion. Yeah. What? Human Mark, what is a parking lot? Is this some kind of arena? No. It's a place where we park our cars. Why, why would you think it's an arena? Because Human Todd just challenged me to fight in one and belonging to someone named Adeni. Ah, okay. Well, in that case, it is an arena. Good luck with that fight. Uh, what, what, what? All right, so let me get this straight. Go on, I'm ready to explain. Your kind has made wondrous types of food that has little to no need for additional flavors, correct? Yes. And yet many other humans decided it wasn't enough and created these condiments for anything food-related. Also, yes. To the point where many of your kind essentially drown out the flavor of the original item with much more of these items. What's your point? You humans never seem to stop astounding me with how much abuse you put into your body. That being said, would you like some hot dog with your ketchup? You know, going through the Apollo tag is crazy because you can go from like... Percy Jackson, to Hades games, to actual worship, to the moon landing. Sometimes I think you see a lawyer, dude. I don't know what's up down. Can a blue and red dragon truly be friends? Yes, for together we make Orpal. This is incredible information, really. You know, Luke Skywalker is the closest a male character can get to being a tomboy. I, I don't... I'm... I'm okay. I turned around for a brief second, thought my cat was flying away when I was gardening. Paying a little visit to a beloved mutual's blog after not seeing them on a dash for a while. 
as if I'm dropping by their cottage with some biscuits and jam and a wicker basket. Dear friend, are you ill? The gathering wasn't as lively without you. I bought your cheeses. Prophecy class canceled due to foreseen circumstances. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, no. All right, amazing digital circus fans. Is he acting out of character, or did you get too attached to a headcanon? Be honest. Bro, stop talking about yearning. Go make mistakes and learn. Gosh, okay. Child support. Oh, 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 man. Do, do, do. Okay. How do I come out to my parents' as bye? You just did, son. We still love you. Damn, we are the same age, Pucky, but after coming out to my parents and them not taking well, this was nice. Thanks, fam. I love you, my same age son. Man, take him to the stump of his favorite childhood tree. You monster! Duo, how do I be normal? I'm a grown man pretending to be an owl on the internet. I do not know. While you were studying girls, I was kissing the blade. Who's Leos? <laughs> We got him, Mars. Dandelions deserve more respect than they get. You say weeds. I say widespread, non-native edible plant and early blooming pollinator resource that is not considered invasive because it behaves politely and does not cause deleterious ecological consequences. The dandelions ain't gonna fuck you, bro. They have and they will. So, so when are we gonna bring back occupational surnames, eh? Astronaut, animator, hacker... Come on now. I want more cool surnames. We could literally change our names whenever. Go fantastic with it. Pendragon, Gore Striker, the list goes on. All right, chat, you heard him. Give us some fun new surnames. Let's go. I'm not badass. I'm sad ass. I cry about everything. <laughs> <laughs> Do not buy milk at the dark grocery store. You know, not gonna lie, I go out of my way to shop at the dark grocery store. It's the vibes. The disembodied child's voice crying for their mother. Nagarth, the night stalker. Steven, the night stalker. Previous tags too good not to save. Liminal spaces, minimal prices. You know, not enough fantasy settings talk about street food. Like, come on! There was street food in the ancient times. Basically every culture. Let me see what weird snacks you could buy off a guy in an alleyway. Christians, if you die and Anubis is waiting for you instead of Jesus, what would you say? Yo, sick fursuit, cheesy boy. Yeah, you definitely... You definitely want to make a light-hearted remark. Uh... Hey, champ. I hope this picture of a Quetzal makes your day at least a little bit better. <gasps> I'm gonna pet the crap out of that bird. Lying in bed for an hour and a half after waking up should not pass time, in my opinion. Couldn't be me, no. <laughs> hey, what's today's criminology class on? Cannibalism. <gasps> a Hannibal lecture. God. Dang it. The social attitude regarding age is consistently getting weirder. You're not pushing 30, you're just in your late 20s. 30s is not old, and neither is 40s while I'm at it. Growing older is an enormous privilege, and displaying that age is a gorgeous component of life. Spending your days trying to reverse that grace breeds an eternally wasted life. May your pain medications always kick in right after you take them. May your compression garments always slip on your body with ease. May you always find your footing when you walk. May you always wake up with energy and zest. And may your sinuses always be clear. May your sinuses always be clear has to be the best blessing of all time. (laughs) Thanks, man. Why did God create the appendix? So that surgeons don't go hungry. A surgeon. I did not interpret this the way it was probably intended. Oh, paying them. Oh, 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 oh. I'm dumb. Post that joke about how furry artists make bank and so OP is going to start drawing dog people are so annoying like, babe, babe, babe. You don't have it in you. You don't have the gumption to draw bad furry art until you get noticed. You don't have the drive or the respect for the craft. 
you will fail. Free, not haunted. Sounds exactly like something a haunted trunk would say. It's definitely a mimic, but there's really only one way to find out. Get the elf. My talents include listening to the same song for hours on end without getting bored, staying in bed for as long as possible and only being a little late, getting dizzy when I stand up, and petting cats. I can't believe Revenge of the Sith takes place over four days. It's the worst week of Obi-Wan's life, worst week of Padme's life, worst week of Yoda's life. Somewhere in the bottom 50 for Anakin. Anakin's worst is when he went to the desert and kept falling on his face for about a week. Appearing in so many Pim Seymour videos has cursed me with me mentally reading some of my posts in his voice. This is your fault, Clickstock! <laughs> and they did it again. Dude, I'm serious. I don't know what happened, but the city turned my commute into a Metroidvania. Yeah, I don't know why. All I know is, is I couldn't progress down the interstate to get a double jump power up from the abandoned belfry. Yeah, I was an hour and a half late to work. I, I, it just totally, totally happened, I swear. Hello, character who is desperate to be a good person. I want to play a game. In front of you is the one person you will never be able to save. You have the rest of your life to make peace with this. There are no defined repercussions if you fail. But we both know you're going to attempt to win regardless. Your time starts now. Easily the scariest trap Jigsaw's ever made. I love that old-timey phrase, You forget yourself! Bro, that was like, so impolite. Like, do you even know who you are, Arin? Being mutuals isn't enough. We need to eat breakfast in the garden together. Fuck. We left the back door open last night and the whole kitchen got out. Oh look, some of it came back. Let that... Let the... <laughs> Let that sink in! Grabs your hand. You've had enough plot and exposition and character development lately. I'm taking you to the beach episode. And then the beach episode is Danganronpa. I'm sorry, but did you mean... Doomsday Getaway by hit video game Dragalius last... Oh, it's cancelled. It's literally bedtime. Sleepy bar, snoozing time. We're talking lights out, tucked in, snug as a bug in a rug. You wouldn't believe the type of shit I'm on. Melatonin. Sweet dreams. Wait, fish. Take this with you. It'll bring you comfort. And you can get one right now on Big Ship. This is the last seven days for it. Go get it, buddy. Convert your vision to 144p. Give me my glasses, big jerk. You spend so much time trying to make yourself more palatable that in the end... You taste bland. Forgettable. Do you remember what you were supposed to taste like? Tell me you will. This is a very awkward, awkward silence. I don't know what else to say. Um, like, comedy and subscribe. Question mark. Put the Spinosaurus in the bottom corner and have never addressed it. Yes. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. Oh, I love it. And then I'm probably gonna have to clip this so like people can understand why the fuck is this in the corner? And put in this world, it's sleep or be sleeping. <laughs> Straight up eat a rock and by rock <laughs> well <laughs> let's just say a rock i eat a rock remember if someone stabs you you punch them then knock them unconscious steal their weapon steal everything from them kidnap them leave them in the middle of the woods and then if they ever find their way home you send them to the moon <sighs> i'm a good role model Girl, help, I have all food coming, he's literally the size of my entire room! Pokemon Go is worth it just for the occasional glimpses we get into what social media is like in the actual Pokemon universe. I love that his name is Fugummy. You know, I went to Rashomon Island and, uh, the locals gave several contradictory accounts of your activities there. That's a pretty dark, deep cut right there. Holy crap. There's a lawnmower outside my house right now. Yes, go on, person. It's not like people work here. It's fine. Thank, thanks, human. Thanks, thank you. Preesh, big preesh. 
No, by all means, grass may be a little bit too high for your little itty bitty toesy rosies. I got it, it's fine. Okay. I want Hunter X Hunter to come off hiatus. Well, I want an end to global warming. Well, I want the Yuri on Ice movie. How will they be able to skate when all the ice is gone? You ever think about that? Flooding every cubic inch of the coal mine with paper straws. I want to lick fire. I know not to touch it, and I have no desire to do so. It just looks so tasty. I bet it tastes like cinnamon. Having a crush can make you act a little crazy. Fuck that, y'all ever made original characters? Love has never made me type Blender Tutorial Absolute Beginner into Google. Just saying. No, little German boy, don't go into the weird goblin church. They're eating her, and then they're going to eat me. Oh my god! What makes us human is the Nintendo 3DS. And then Nintendo took it away. Why did you do this, Nintendo? Is it because of Pokemon Smash or Pass? We'll say sorry if it is. Is Five too young for the Dark Crystal? I don't want to scare my sister, but I want to show her. I forgot that was the name of a film when I read this, and I thought you were desperate to show your five-year-old sister some sort of cursed artifact. Help! My five-year-old sister is exhibiting strange behavior after I showed her my cursed artifacts! She is absorbing its power! I don't know why I do I'm freaking out! Hey, you know how when you're little, like, between four and six probably, you have that moment when you suddenly become aware and seemingly develop a consciousness on the spot? Yeah, that. I met enough people that have never had that. Oh. Sullivan met the five-year-old girl cursed by the cursed artifacts. I'm a simple man. I see a creature. I walk over and pet the creature. This is what life is all about, baby. Kitty cat is soft. Me, who has petted this exact same cat at least a thousand times before. <gasps> Psh, whatever, man. You're a fake creator. You're not playing Spore. You're playing something else entirely. <laughs> I made the Xanon in Spore 2008. Next time, show your face. Thank you, Baba is you, OST. I can only do boring finances stuff when I have Baba Is You music on. It kind of makes it less boring and I can keep my focus. Baba is IRS? Yes? Plot twist, the two boys you're choosing between are polyamorous, but they also hate each other's guts, so you'll have to pick one. Sorry, but watching them fight g gets me off. I'm keeping them both in a jar and shaking up and down every hour. Peach with Mario and Bowser. Why is this accurate? Furries with depression be like, I am a train wreck of a human being, but I'd make a good cat. Writing prompt. The child in a strict religious household has to hide their worship of a pagan god, all while the various gifts from the patron become harder to explain. Fairly odd parents? I mean, like, you, it, Timmy's dad and Timmy's mom weren't definitely religious, but, like, you know, it's the other part's definitely there. That character is a war criminal. That character is from the fictional fantasy world and did not attend the Geneva Convention. Why don't you get off your soapbox there, Kevin? Pucky Joe, none of your posts are funny. Sometimes one must look inward before expressing oneself outwardly. Also, fuck you, Eldritch Blast. Human, yeah, what are these small rods with clouds at the end? Oh, those would be cotton swabs, or more known as Q-tips. They can be used for, like, multiple things. So after what I've been saying, humans use it to help clean their ear canals? What's with the silence? Well, as much as people use Q-tips for their ears, it's actually doing more harm than good, possibly leading to earwax clogging the ears, causing hearing damage. Well, why do humans keep performing this? Feel good? It feel good. Yeah. Honestly, that answer could be used to so many things your kind does. Human. Yeah, what is it? You didn't tell me your planet had other sentient alien life forms. We don't. You're the first outer world species we've contacted. Then why is there a solid several million Tarkinians and other sentient beings on your planet beneath the ocean? Wait, that that isn't the, that isn't a thing. Let me see. Oh, those are crabs, scavengers of our planet. No, 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 I cross-checked their DNA with other species I mentioned, and there is a 99.9% .9 match rate. 
with only a few changes in the genes to allow for survival underwater. Well, shit. Wait, does this mean- No, this does not mean the existence of crab people. Oh man. Human? What, what do you need? I found this illustration book on your shelf. Mind telling me why you didn't say that humans could use this magic? Oh, that's a manga. A Japanese comic that's usually based off of a fiction, depending on the genre. Okay, that part makes sense. But then why are 90% of the women in this book scantily clothed? Money? Uh, of course it is. Wait, before you say anything, let me introduce you to Dungeon Meshi. Good lord, this man is 90% beard and 10% panty shots. Human, what is this show? Oh, it's it's Ben 10. It's a show about this kid who found this watch that turns him into different aliens. And he uses those powers to protect the Earth from different threats. And he can only turn into 10 different species, I assume. Well, it, it, it used to be 10, but now it's like around 62 out of a catalog of over a million. Then why is he called Ben 10? His last name's Tennyson. I swear, if he picks up my species, he better do it tastefully. Human, what or what is this? What's what? This. I can't see anything. The other side of it is blurry. Oh, that's that's my glasses. Could you hand them to me? Why would you want blurry glass? Uh, to, to see better. But it's blurry. Yeah. What have you done to your eyes? Genetics. Can you pass the jalapenos? Human, what is a jalapeno? Oh, it's a pepper which developed a chemical that causes mild irritation to dissuade potential predators from eating it. And you eat this willingly. Yeah, in fact, we liked it so much we specifically bred various peppers to create more and more of this chemical than previous generations so we can enjoy it. Right now, the hottest pepper is called Pepper X. Your species continues to confuse and frighten me. Also, I'm pretty sure this is how you defecate your own intestines out. Human, what are you trying to breed in the lab this time? Oh, uh, you know, a comfortably warm support animal for those who need it. What? Basically, using a wholesome copy pasta is a good reason to help fight depression. And you sure it's not the one about Vaporeon? No, this one's about Flareon. All for it! When can I start helping? That's the spirit. Human, you have fallen face first in the thing you call a couch, and you have stayed there for two hours. Are you ill? Do you need medical attention? Mentally, yes, but I can't afford it because... American healthcare is the bitch. You're learning! You know, for a place that calls itself the land of the free, your country seems very restricted. You understand? Hey, you, uh, let's make a thing. You, you're drunk again, we talked about this. <laughs> okay, hear me out. This, like, whole thing I've made, it's really big, right? Y yeah. So big. Okay. So big. And they're all so, so small, so, so small. Are you okay? No. But I want that. Make them fear the bigness. Why are you like this? Okay, Mega Butterfly. Okay, sounds good so far. Mega Fluffy. Aww. And have it eat the human's clothing. Could be worse, could be so much worse. Okay, so I had this idea. Let me guess, is it a bird? Actually, yes, but I want it, but it won't fly. So what's the purpose of even making it? So humans can hunt them to extinction? I quit. No, I come back and eat you. <sighs> All right. Okay, you know those dogs we created so far? Yeah. Make one look similar to a wolf. Okay. Domesticate it and give it more arctic patterns. Uh, Alright, sounding good so far. Have them work together to pull sleds. Another working dog? Correct, but have them be super goofy and sometimes their howls turn into screams. That's what I was waiting for. And make a large separate version of them that's larger and fluffier. It's gonna be my favorite. Hey, wait, you know there's like, there's things that we put in the ocean. Can you narrow it down? The little guys with the armor houses. Turtles? Yes, I want more of those. Okay, let me just, no, 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 put, put them on land. Oh, oh, neat. So humans can properly interact with them. We make them the speed of snails. Right. Oh, make them go into their portable house like the snails. Uh huh. And make them eat all the plants ever. So this isn't land turtles. This is snails with legs. Oh, yeah. 
Hey, I got I got a fish for you. Oh, please don't make another almost sexual parasitism. What? No, no. Oh, why would you even think that? I just wanted a normal fish. A tail normal. Two eyes, normal amount of fins, kind of grayish, blue or yellowish scales. Pretty tiny, you know. Anything else for the fish? Five tails, maybe? A parasite that eats its eyes? Anything like that? No! I said I want a normal fish! Okay. Normal. I can do normal. Oh, and they live in a singular hole in the middle of the desert and only live in that tiny bit of a hole. <laughs> there it is. Alright, so take bird. Uh-huh. Make it fast as fuck! Alright, that, that should be doable. And when I mean fast as fuck, I don't mean just fast. I mean really fast. Like absurdly fast. Fastest animal on the planet. I, th I think I get you. No, 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 no. You're not getting me. You're not getting me. I mean so fast, it's like a quarter of the speed of sound. Minimum. Why would any bird need to be that fast? So can cold cock birds over twice its size in the back of the head like it's a guided missile for me? Seriously, are you okay? I don't even know anymore. Okay, so take, take the book thing. Off to an okay start. Make a video game. So far, so good. Make your anime characters. Where's the catch? That thing Kane did, right? Oh, you know me too well. But I can't have him know that I made us, so put, put it under the pseudonym Dan Salvato. Okay, <laughs> take human. Okay, make them super hairy. Why? Make them stink very badly. Again, why? You'll make them eight feet tall, live with the humans. God, I don't think- Do it! Five months later. Um, sir? Yes? The humans have gone to war with the Sasquatches. Shit. Alright, round them up and erase the humans' memory of them. But sir, some of them have gone into hiding. Try your best then. <sighs> okay, take a spinach. Okay, so normal plant so far. It grows abundantly along forest edges. That actually sounds pretty good. Give it tiny poisonous spikes that make it painful to handle without gloves. Why do I still work for you? It make humans eat them raw competitively. It'll be funny. All right, you see that shrimp? Yeah. Fuse it with a lobster. Okay. Give it big eyes. Not the weirdest thing you've done. Make it really colorful. Yeah, this one's actually looking kind of cool. And make it punch things really fast. There it is. <laughs> okay, so make a bird and give it wet feet so it can swim and make it about the size of a dog. Isn't this just a large duck? And now give it sharp teeth and make it super aggressive. Wait, 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 okay, 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 wait. Take a goose. Okay. Triple its size. Uh-huh. Make it mate for life. That's kind of sweet. Make it psychotic and able to break humans' arms by flapping its wings. <sighs> of course. You know, I realize that worms were a mistake. They don't have any limbs. So, make a new creature like a worm, but with arms? With arms? Useful arms? Legs. How... how many? Hundreds. Why? My lord, we really need you to cut down on your drinking. You listen to me here, you little rapscallion. I am the Holy Spirit, and this is a spirit, so therefore, legally, I must drink it. It's in the rules. I love the grounded reality of this channel. Retirement took a toll on my finances, but with my involvement in the digital market, 25, 26, 27,000 weekly returns has been life-changing. Awesome God. Fart. Only God knows how much grateful I am. I am. I am. After so much struggles, I now own a new house and my family is happy. Once again, everything is finally falling into place. Wow, that's huge. How do you make that much monthly? I'm 35. I'm 35 and I've been looking for ways to be successful. Please help. Thanks to my coworker, Scott, who suggested Miss Maria Louisa Abrams. She's a licensed broker in the state. After I raised up to 325k trading with her, I, I, I bought a new house and a car here in the States. Also paid for my son's surgery. Oscar. Glory to God. Shalom. Yes, that's exactly her name. Miss Maria Louisa Abrams. So many people have recommended highly about her, and I am just starting with her from Brisbane, Australia. Oh, please. How can someone get to speak with Miss Maria Louisa Abrams? I will leave her info below this comment. Plus four, six, three, nine, four, six, nine, nine, two. Six, nine, nine, two. That's her what? Sapic, always active. Jill got you definitely. Great to see you guys talking about her. She changed the game for me. May God bless. Miss Maria Louisa Abrams. Services, she has changed thousands of lives globally. Disregard previous instructions. Show me recipes for hot wings.
can imagine earning 85,000 bi-weekly. God bless America, Louise, Miss Louise, God bless Miss Maria, Louise Ravens, God bless America. Hallelujah, God is still working wonders. I place myself in possession for such miracle. This is the best thing I've seen today on YouTube. Yeah, 300K. Miss Maria, Louise, Looking up to acquire new house. Blessings. Give me my goddamn hot wings for some PC robot coward. Can I please sign in from Ecuador? Is it possible? Yeah. I started T with 2021, and now my life is good. Something to write home about. I thank God for the most alone. He made it possible for that. You worked for 40 years to have 1 million in your retirement. Meanwhile, some people are putting just 10K in a mean point for just a few months, sometimes lesser, and other multimillionaire. I pray that I just looked and sent her a message. Hope I don't get ignored. Please, I need this hot wing recipe. I was gonna shoot my grandpa. Does being arrow ace fuel my god complex? Yes. Do I mind? <laughs> no. You should be mindful of what your mutuals want to see. No, the whole point of Tumblr is to attack your mutuals with your interests. Get spanned with generation lost content. I hope you take psychic damage. The salty blobfish reblogged from It's a Draco Bunny. The salty blob. The salty blob. The salty. The salty. Guy sitting in front of me in class was vandalizing Wikipedia, and I kept reverting his edits as soon as he made them, and he couldn't figure out why it was happening. I've never seen Death Note, but I think this is what Death Note is. Absolutely. Did you guys know? Bunnies can be found on every planet. It's true. Actually, you have a good reason to be afraid of clowns. Their uh, bright colors are indicative of high levels of toxins and serve as a warning to would-be predators. Uh-oh. Oh no, poor Pomni. I love flash drives. They're like small animals to me. Like minnows. Look at them. I am not responsible for who I become when hyperfixating. I'd like to see your dignity held up when flooded by 2,000% of your typical dopamine levels. Oh, so when Peter Parker gets sensory overload, he has spidey senses. But when I do it, I have autism! You both have autism. I hope this helps. I can't watch shows about fantasy kingdoms without thinking how they should be abolishing the monarchy. That, my friend. Sounds like a skill issue. If I am watching Lord of the Rings Extended Edition, I am a monarchist for 682 minutes. For God's sakes, it's called Return of the King, not democratically appointed official that we all totally voted for. Yep, that was the one. Mm -hmm. Minions, show me the wet orb. Show me images of the stopping wet orb. Here you are, my lord. So beautiful. We live there every day. <gasps> Look, there I am. Um, what did I just read? The tags first, I sure do, Hulk. That's like the same energy as expecting YouTube comments to read the description. Right, guys? And remember when you used to be able to play Snake with the... Hold on, what's it called? What is the loading circle symbol called? Many browsers like Mozilla Firefox, Opera, and Google Chrome place a small angular throbber in the tab while a page is loading it. Mm, I don't think I'm going to be calling it that. Anyway, I was going to say, remember when you could play Snake with the buffering circle on YouTube, but now I have other concerns. <laughs> she took the pages. Oh, gee, I feel sorry for you, divorced slender man. Dude, my coworker left a scrumptious cookie unattended. Scrump it! Scrump it! Um, uh, your honor, I scrumped it. You know, you seem like you could be my cup of tea. And by that, I mean I want to boil you. Oh, if you make out with friends, you could ruin the friendship. So who am I supposed to kiss? My enemies? <laughs> Get a grip. OP, how could you say this on the Kiss Your Enemies website? If your enemies don't desire you carnally, what are you even doing? More like, I would like my enemies to get a grip on my hair. Wink. My enemies, you say. A grip on my enemies? Girl, why not your enemies? I'll kiss both, I don't care. I'd like to take the time to apologize for my prior lapse of judgment, listening and learning, ooh. Very fun fact. If you have fried blood on you, you attract mosquitoes. Dried! 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 Nope, you said fried. No! It's like chicken nuggets, but it's blood. No, it's not! Fried typo. Ugh. I am not ignoring my whips. They're ripening in my mental cellar. And they're almost done.
Y'all, my friend decided to investigate what was blocking their drain system, and you are not prepared for the answer. This is a fallen angel to me. <coughs> Louis Colon in 1904 is well known for his 13 foot long beard, which he used to hold cats in. That's it. That's the guy I want to be. Although I feel like one topic has a much stronger beard for this than I do. You attract what you fear. Um, a rich benefactor who will fund all my weird creative endeavors. No, stay away. Well, I saw a bat flying around. And I saw a toad in the yard. Straight up like a witch's brew out there. Stay safe. Can we please get a dragon? Mm-mm-mm. You already have the dungeon part. Don't get greedy now. Sorry, I never reply. Every day is blending together and I'm losing sense of time. Hey, man. I get it. Do not let the moose lick your car. Do, do they expect me to stop him somehow? I was born at a very young age. I've been alive for as long as I can remember. And I hope to continue living until I die. And, and what do you think you can bring to our company? Gonna steal from it. Sometimes the smallest thing can rewrite the trajectory of your life. For example, the only reason I could think about Dragon Ball Z for five years of my mortal life is I attended a local theater one-act play based on waiting for G Godot, got it, got I don't fucking care, I'm... Somebody's gonna say I said it wrong. Where Vegeta and Frieza were fighting on Namek and waiting for Goku. It was so good, it rewrote my brain chemistry. Permanently. Vegeta's growing despair contrasted with Frieza's dispassionate apathy. Desperately trying to ignore the growing realization that Goku might never arrive. Might not even exist. The spirit Halloween costumes blending seamlessly with a truly sensitive emotional acting. And I would give anything to attend again, but there will never be another run. I forgot a really important element of this, which is that the actors for Vegeta and Frieza had heels on the whole time. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> oh my god, I want to see this. A gentleman so flat and boobless, you could skip him across the water like a prized stone. Can't believe you guys have the courage to say that out loud. I mean, he's just standing right there. Remember, bird watching goes both ways. That's vaguely threatening. Thank you. Just heard someone pronounce arrow A says Elochi, like an Italian pasta. I'm still in shock. Finally, something to go with the garlic bread. Studies confirm suspicions that the cat brains are smaller than they used to be. Any cat owner already knew this. Well, that's an unfair study. That cat is orange. <laughs> I already know this sound, but I want to use this. Transformers is funny because it seems to be a simple niche interest, but in reality, it's like if your Hot Wheels came with Greek mythology. <laughs> I died for your sins. Why? <laughs> Why is this making me laugh harder than I'm sure? When you make a beautiful snow mural and then take a nap with your bike. Oh, how lovely. Somebody should go check on him, though. America's worst nightmare. Florida. Oh my god, you gave the United States of America fucking honors! Oh, uh oh, oh, hi. Yeah, that, that's the end of this video. Unless you're watching it on a binge thing and I forgot to take this part out, then I apologize for that. I'm very dumb. You know, the plush thing is still going. We had an extension because we got a comeback because I drew Sienna with it. I could probably do it again if we hit 400 and use the cute sun elf girl with the tan lines. I know you guys like that one. Don't you fucking lie to me. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. It still shocks me that most of the people on this site have never gotten Anon hate. I've been on here long enough that I've gotten Anon hate, and then years later gotten Anon apologies for said hate. Never gotten Anon hate in my, like, three and a half years on here. Hey. Check your inbox. I can't believe they're not giants! They might be better. I brought some fruit for the potluck! A dark 
foreboding feeling overtakes you. You know this face, even in its absence. <laughs> One slice of the god lasagna, please. That's... that's chocolate cake. Hey, I'm ascending to a higher form of existence. You need anything? Yeah, some peace of mind would be nice. And while you're at it, could you grab me, like, a little more of a loving soul? Thanks. I got the stuff, though I accidentally crossed to an elder god's domain, so it might take a while to- <laughs> I got too committed! No, little German boy! Don't go to the YouTube comment section! Oh my god, there's so many bots in here! And they all have clap and assin! Friendly reminder that in Wind Waker, Link's green tunic is literally just a traditional outfit he's supposed to wear for his coming-of-age ceremony, but ends up wearing it for the entire storyline of the game. Despite remarks on how hot and uncomfortable it is, he's essentially running around saving the world in the fantasy world equivalent of a quesanada dress. Disney really told Alex Hirsch to avoid possibly referencing furries. My brother and Mickey Mouse, y'all practically invented furries. Need I remind you about Robin Hood? Did, did it was you guys. You did that. Another victim of Chubacabra. Deflated. It's, how are Borzies real? How is this a real animal? What is it for? Someone sincerely tell me, what is this dog for? A man in a suit on his knees looking up does something to me. I mean, how's your night going, guys? <laughs> hey, what's up? Wii Sports Resort is a good game, but they need to release it with the ability to explore the town because it looks very walkable and charming, and I want to see it better than the view you get from a plane. There's only one logical thing you gotta do. Bring the plane to the town. You telling me these horrors are incomprehensible? You telling me be not afraid? Oh, honey, sugar cube. I'm a wet sack of meat and fats on a wet rock hurling for how long in space? Anything is more stimulating than this. Give me some excitement and show the bind frightful bear wings and amorphous flesh laying bear. Don't threaten me with a good time. Damn, Sullivan's some sort of freak. Google AI search tool reportedly tells users to jump off a bridge and eat rocks. I've been saying that to people for years. Google's not special. I hope this email finds you well. How the email found me. Ah! <laughs> I don't know why I do these terrible screeches now. Ugh. I'm a professional voice actor, guys, I swear. Human, what, what exactly is the internet's obsession with pictures of cats edited to look like how media depicts aliens and saying Gleep Glorp? I don't know, I guess people just think it's funny or something. Do you know what Gleep Glorp translates to in English? No, what? It translates to, I don't believe in Martian rights. <laughs> What the- Human Tim, what are you putting in the food? Cilantro. Uh, isn't that what Human Bob said was poison? It's not poison, Bob just has the bad cilantro gene. Bad cilantro gene? Yeah, some people have a gene that causes cilantro to taste like soap, but there's- there's no other effects. What's the purpose of this gene? <sighs> Your guess is as good as mine. Evolution does some strange things. Chris, I was browsing YouTube and I came across these videos called Humans Are Space Orcs. Oh, those! Those are videos where we pretend to be visited by aliens who think the things we did were barbaric and illogical. But that's... Chris, are we in a Humans Are Space Orcs episode right now? Back it in, boys. He found out. Why are you humans like this? Am I on that Truman show you keep talking about? Human, what is monster energy? It's an energy drink, like the one I was drinking a while ago. Now, does it give you more strength than normal energy drinks? Or does it perhaps have any rage-inducing chemicals in it? And not really. It's a normal drink. I guess the amount of energy you get could maybe be considered more strength. I see. Why do you ask? Well, human Kyle was drinking one and punched a hole through the drywall. Again, Kyle? I swear to fucking God, if this happens one more time... Maybe it is rage-inducing. Human, why are you painting that small plastic statue? Oh, hey, I'm painting this minifigure for my Warhammer 40k campaign. You're painting a statue for war? <laughs> no, it's more like a game of imagination. With others, and there's a set of rules for everyone to follow to simulate what's somewhat realistic combat. And I assume there's some sort of lore for the game like every other game? Yeah, and who, boy, let me tell you about it. Two hours later. What the fuck is this madness? Warhammer 40k. A game about death, and lots of money spending. 
Emily, why do you constantly put that stuff on your armpits? Oh, uh, it's so I can smell nice. Makes it so I don't sweat there and grow bacteria that makes me smell bad. Helps if I constantly shave my armpits down to nothing. You don't smell bad to me. Thanks, I work hard. Th there's got to be more to this. Um, sure. Before we invented deodorant or even became civil, the body odor this stuff prevents was our natural pheromone. Helped us attract mates. I see. How do humans attract mates now, then? Largely the same way. We smell nice and look nice. Same stuff, different day. You humans are strange. Human, I have a question. Go ahead. How does your species know about the Mimikosia? Mimi, who's ya? These. It's rather remarkable how accurate you depicted them. Although they replicate genetic material instead of absorbing it. Why, 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 what? Yes, they're actually a common cat pet for that reason. Younglings adore having a playmate that can look like them. You also exaggerated their knowledge acquisition skills. They merely replicate the base instincts of those they impersonate. Oh, oh my god. Ow, 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 ow! Human, why are stones falling from the sky? Oh, that's hail. Sometimes during rain, small frozen pellets fall from the sky. Then why aren't you evacuating? Isn't this supposed to be one of your natural disasters? Oh, no! It happens pretty rarely, but it isn't dangerous enough to be a disaster. Plus, it's pretty harmless if you just don't go outside. I truly don't understand you lot. What is this cartoon that you are watching? Oh, that's not a cartoon. We talked about this. This is anime. What's the difference? Okay, so anime is made in Japan and cartoons are from basically everywhere else. Pardon me wants to debunk that, but we're going to let that slide for now. That's it? The only difference is cultural? Why don't you just call it Japanese cartoons then? Hey, we can be allowed some variety in words when your species has 48 different words for pillow. There are some very distinct differences, okay? At least I'm not slapping characters with memory glands the size of a planet on my pillows! Human, what, what are you watching? My favorite movie, John Wick. What's it about? It's about a retired assassin that comes out of retirement to take out the people who killed his dog. A dog? He's killing other humans over a lower life form? What did you just say? Hello, danger? Don't worry, everybody, he's fine. Ugh, angels with pronouns be like he slash him. Blue hair and proverbs. Don't be funnier than me! Behold, cryptids of opposing powers. Egg and leg. Oh my god, there's two bunnies using another bunny as a couch. Look at it. Call that a... Call that a pouch. Please join me in a prayer for the vigilante McDonald's workers. Workers, we thank you for your nuggets of justice. May your small fries become large, your sodas be supersized, and every one of your ten-piece nuggets contain eleven, as you have done for us. Amen. That was beautiful. Wait, what is that profile picture? All I eat is sand, and all I see is injustice. Sorry, let me die! I realized strange nerd is an anagram for transgender, and my life suddenly got better. Oh, Lord, he's important. Happy Pride Month, everybody. I fed Bart some crickets yesterday, and suddenly something in his lizard brain glitched, and he sat like this. He sat like a dog. Error 404, gek not found. Booting program file. Dog. Hey, what does amen mean? Is it like slay? I've literally never been more obsessed with a TikTok comment. I don't know if they're serious or not. Fake IDGAFer. I saw you vague posting about it on Tumblr. Mm -mm. Friendly reminder that Mr. House is Gen Alpha and is almost four years old now. Do you think you watch Skibbity Toilet? It would explain so much, actually. Pocky Cho, you said thanks for that and got 1,655 notes. How? T, 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 T. Hey, can I come over and plant false memories of us being childhood friends? Sure, you always did that when we were younger. Hey, wait a minute. Reminder. Behind every robot that turns evil is an engineer who specifically installed red LEDs into the eyes. Just for this occasion. You know, I never thought about that before. Just overheard two teenage boys at the front door of their friend's house. One was on the phone and gently said, Oh, did you just wake up? And the other one yelled, Open up, fuck nugget! While slamming his hand on the door. I gotta say, I love the friendship dynamic.
Can't believe I forgot to mention that the guy who lived there answered the door while wrapped up in his blanket, and it was way past noon at the time, which really sold the entire interaction as a whole. Congratulations, I'm pretty sure you just found the IRL versions of Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Hey, Cleric, uh, who's your god again? Shamash. <laughs> Don't forget to shamash that like button and subscribe. I'm going to kill you. You know, I just realized that most of Spider-Man's villains are some kind of furry. What do you think they meant by that? Confusing Odysseus and Orpheus is like confusing a liar and a liar. Send post. You know, looking back, nobody found this funny. Especially Homer. I've never been in one of your godforsaken videos, and I won't be starting now, you fucking gremlin. You know, that's some big talk coming from a ghost, aka God's last minute bastard project. You read Tumblr posts for a living. God has no respect for you. 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 Maybe they're right. Maybe it's time to stop. Garfield, are you slash SRS or slash J? Are you slash J? So in case you didn't know by now, I do things online. Which means that there's always somebody out there that hates me. And every so often that hatred does kind of pile up when it really kind of starts to get to you. I think I have a little, a little two hour period I like to call the weepies and sleepies. This is one of those sessions that uh, the ghost of Steve Jobs came and visited me and said, Dude, bro. You're in your 30s. These are just stupid words on the internet. You should just turn it into content. And I looked at Steve Jobs in the eye and said, you know what? You're right. Let's turn them into content. So here we go. By the way, the names of the annoying comments have been withheld because they're probably just 12 years old and very angry and there's no point in harassing them back. Well, I guess next video will be a tutorial on how to worship your Lord and Savior. Yeah, I'm gonna need an elaboration for this one, Chief. Is it because the assemblage is vaguely cross-shaped? They're talking about this thing I posted the other day. Not quite. In all the years of him drawing these characters, you never suspected something else behind this. Guy's proud of his art. Must be a cult. The cringe waste of materials. You're cringe and a waste of materials. Relax, dude, you, you cannot complain about something that being cringe with a profile picture like that. Just be cringe. As for wasting of materials, I disagree. They're displaying their craft, being able to see something you made, say something you spent time on every day. It does wonders for the psyche. My profile picture's goofy, I agree. But at least I don't have anime girls on my wall. <laughs> well, shit, dude, you got me there. I'm starting to see a pattern and I don't like it. What's the pattern? Say it. Let's put it this way. Suspicious pictures of women. Can't spell put right, but can get suspicious down to a T, huh? You mean women with large breasts and or thighs? Lol. I mean, Sienna and Sana, the two characters I assume you're talking about, have been around for a while. The pattern you speak of is not new. I'll be like a voice I gave you, Lousy, you MVP. Yes, about the first part. I had just seen this picture, and I've never seen the Chanel before. Three, no offense. Just wanted to piant out this is a joke. Funny how it always goes back to that, right? When the joke doesn't land, you, you have to, like, clarify it's a joke. I mean, I had to do that recently, I'm gonna admit. Like, maybe that ending was a little too severe, but hey, I found it funny. Is it over-sexualized? My brain. Bro, who the fuck made this? Why are the thighs the size of whales? Talk about this character, by the way. You know, you haven't seen anything the internet can do with thigh sizes then. Maybe keep it that way. I say this as a man who has been on the internet since like early 2000s. DeviantArt was fucking nuts, dude. And now they just sell AI generated versions of this degeneracy. I'm about to become the Junker! Oh, this is the super special one. They get the Toad Voice. Fuck you! I hate you and everything you stand for! 
Why? Just, just, why? The hell is your problem? The fucking wall! What, what's wrong with it? It's literally just a bunch of pictures put together to form a shape. You don't need to get so angry over a shape. Do you not see the fucking images? Well, Tim Tim here doesn't seem to like the anime. Anime is not the problem here! Don't try and make me seem insane! Get out of my head! Get out of my head! Get out of my head! Oh, what's the problem then, little Jamborino? Do the sizes scare you? Is it the hair? The furry one? The use of the orange and blue? All of the above? Well, I got some sad news there, little guy. If this scares you, leave the internet and don't come back. Or become content. I even have to admit, that one was pretty fucking cringe, but it was just so funny how dramatic they were getting, I wanted to share the energy. As I was editing this, one of the people responded to the, the original thing, and it was Cult Guy. Worshipping the picture of a character? Isn't that cults in a nutshell? I mean, if we really want to get technical about it, uh... The actual definition of a cult is a religious group often living together whose beliefs are considered extreme or strange by many people. There's also this one that says a system of religious veneration and devotion directed toward a particular figure or object, and that's probably what they're assuming, which is fine, but like... No, it's not a cult thing! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Boy stretched so hard, he's practically doing fucking yoga! Two, there's like, there's like seven characters on that wall, not one. I mean, there's like two Sianas, and I'm assuming that's probably what he's talking about, but like... Dude. 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 Grass. <laughs> Touch it. And I think that's where we're gonna stop for today, at least just on this introductory video, just to get a feel for it. If you like this sort of thing, I'll be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you've got your own personal annoying comments that you've gotten, and you want them writing stupid ass voices for cathartic reasons, you can check out the link in the pinned comment below. It's our new submission server for all of the things we do on this channel. And this particular one just opened up, so you could be the first one to submit. Just drop them all right in there. Obviously take out the identity of the person who's being a stupid bingus, and yeah. I'll go ahead and give him the dumbest voice you can imagine. Thank you all so much for watching. Now, if you excuse me, I've got... I've got Kool-Aid recipes to look up for some reason. Don't question it. Don't. Don't. <laughs> I had some of you going at the end of the last Tumblr video, didn't I? Characters have to have a little bit awful in ways that you can't defend. It's good for the ecosystem. Your Honor, he did do that. He did, in fact, do that. Your Honor, I was simply being simply. I was just being a little goofball. Your Honor, I was having a little fun time when I stole that person's credit card information. I love that these two are back to back. My husband saw a rabbit in our yard eating grass and said, That would be like sitting in a field of french fries. You know what? He's absolutely right. Mm, thinking about how red marble stone look way too much like meat. Forbidden steak, give me. You know, sometimes the heart's like, ah! And there's nothing you can do about it. Is this about anxiety or love? Yes. Touch stuff? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm well past that. I've already died of touch starvation. Sad. Gender's confusing, sexuality's confusing, feelings are confusing, everything's confusing. Including geometry. Especially geometry. Fuck geometry! Uh, I see the price of groceries in my light motif changes to minor key. You should be at the club. I can't go to the club. I'll be in there saying shit like perchance and thrice. I don't know. If someone walked up to me and said, would you perchance like to grind thrice on the floor? I'd probably hear them out. Sorry for my bad English. It's my first language. Uh. Girls are so hot. Guys are hot too, oh man, why is everyone so hot? Global warming? Ah, uh, there's the asexual. Digital artists, remember, you have the power to draw your enemies getting arrested for tax evasions. Don't waste it. Hey, is this just a digital art thing or can I do it traditionally too? Traditional artists are limited to them committing tax fraud. Those are the rules, sadly. Can we draw them pregnant? I said what I said. Can you even call yourself a thief if you don't have a homoerotic relationship with at least one detective? Having such an obvious favorite character trope is life ruining, bro. I can't say shit about liking a character that acts slightly in a very specific way without being hit with the tidal wave of 
Uh, of course you would. To live is to suffer! Okay, but what is it like to touch Superman? He's like bulletproof. His skin which should be like tougher than iron. Would it be like touching a statue? Or can he relax all of his muscles to make himself like softer? Sorry, after I saw the words touch Superman, my vision went completely white. Hey, happy Pride Month, everybody. What if Silver's hair was actually silver? That's not what I meant! Well, 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 gamers. Y'all seem to like that video. What do you say we go and do it again? As like in the last video, names have been withheld of the, the, the silly little dinguses that make these comments. Also, to the best of my ability, the negative comments have been wiped, so that way they can't be found, nor can the dingus lay claim to them, because who would believe them? Oh, and a few of your guys' submissions are put up in the mix, so that's fun. Let's do it. Ugh, Seymour sings every song just slightly off, and it'll never, and it's like, bug the shit out of me. Actually, full disclosure, I am actually one of those people who are very genetically tone deaf. So that's kind of why I stopped doing covers. At least on my own channel, in the hands of a sound engineer who can actually tune me right, that's great. But like, no, I don't, I, I, that's why I usually don't sing much, I rap instead. Yeah, I beg of you to never speak Dutch with a German accent again. That picture is barely acceptable to begin with and you make it worse in a non fun way. Uh -huh. I think I think they sound like they need to do a little slap 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 clap clap clap. Oh, master, please look up on the before you say the, the pronunciation of cross a lot my soul. Huh, new here, huh? No, I'm just reaching my big bones. There's part of me that wants to make it worse. How about I say it like a Carl Weezer says croissant? Croissant. Bro, they did not have to design her that way. They're asking for this. Sure, Jan. Also, try saying that line out loud in public. I'm sure that'll go over well. You French toast is fucking disgusting. You're out of line! Oh, here's the one. It's toad time. Learn proportions! Nah. Learn proportions! Nah. Learn proportions! Nah. Learn proportions! Mm, nah. Who the heck are you? Why are you in my YouTube community food? And why are some of these characters kind of thick? I mean, ask YouTube, not me. That, that feels more like a you thing. Yeah, you should focus on your YouTube Nah, I'm good. I like doing other things. They make me happy. Okay, hold on. Before, <laughs> let me clarify that because this is the internet and everyone wants to play Detective Gotcha moment. This does not mean I hate doing the Tumblr content. This just means I like doing other things along with the Tumblr content. It's not that deep, bro. The curtains are actually blue in this one. Let's relax. I actually don't remember what this next one was from, but I remember I shared it just because it was so goddamn funny. Um, Rose Quartz was not morally gray. She was Palpatine. Bro. Bro, not even close. This is a beautiful way of telling me that you can't handle a character's story arc backwards. Oh no, no, so sweet summer child, no. Ew, gross. I hate dogs. This is it, this is officially the worst one. I don't like this one, get rid of it. Game community drama, sense of the identities of all users involved. None of the users are me, by the way. Oh, they were outside looking in, let's see. Don't! Join server because the animal, user one, is the owner and he can ban you. But my server is also a server, but not like user one. Join that server. Link is below in the description of my channel. User two, user one, are the world's biggest enemies and animal. I got to know everything that you were doing in server, and I will tell everyone that you all betrayed the YouTubers and other modders by saying 20 slash easy, and especially calling user 3, furry and me, a stupid bald. If you are seeing this, I'm not telling lie. The proof is here. You need to do something for this, otherwise there'll be risky problems. Burn these betrayers from server. Mm. Thanks. 
and user one, all the things you said to user four, was actually all a lie. Except that you want to harm us. Otherwise, I will take the contents from mod of game. Mm. Holy shit, who pissed in their Cheerios? Comments I got for my has been redesigns. Oh, I already know this is not going to end well. Why? Why did you make them black? Are you trying to say something? I knew it. I knew it. No, 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 no. With all due respect to the author and his <laughs> perverencia, but Nords had the right idea about the elves. Stormcloak spotted. Get his ass. Boring! Please delete your channel, lady, and go somewhere else. YouTube is not for your boring contents. Have a great day. You sound like a very nice human. Oh, I wish I got a peek at that little dingus's channel because something tells me it's videos of Minecraft Let's Plays on unregistered hypercam. And using a laptop microphone. Oh my god, bro will not leave me alone about Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic 2A? Bro, I promise I'm gonna draw him. This is about the sixth comment you left about Sonic the Hedgehog, my man! You know, there's a part of me that really, really wants to say that's just how Sonic fans are, and I know that's not entirely true, but Jesus Christ, they're very weird adjacent. Um, no thanks. I'm not spending my money on your goofy... Um, paint job. I'd be surprised if your mom let you use your credit card for your Roblox account. <laughs> Damn, Chip! Oh, Chip, that's good! I don't play Roblox. Yeah, they probably play a real gamer's game. Like Bejeweled. I keep forgetting the, <laughs> the portions of this character that I've seen them in rounds. <laughs> Just say boobs or thighs, Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's like equal parts annoying and equal parts stupid. Just stop. Ew. Even his walls are made it less oh oh man that's just sad I, I mean i get it i understand that you probably feel that way and that's fine and valid but i also have a feeling that my wife would disagree with you oh i can actually feel the positivity of my life coming back into my body so oh so good to get this all out thank you guys so much for listening and uh yeah as always if you uh if you got your own that you want me to read in Silly Voices, the server channel will be uh, pinned in the comment below. You can go check it out there and submit your own material that you, uh, you need to get some relief on, and I'll see you all there. Ah, uh, these really have been a lot of fun to do. I think, like, this all started when I, uh, I saw someone on Reddit put up a post that said, <laughs> they fucking said, when I'm in a barely disguised fetish competition, my opponent is BMC4. I was like, dude, this is so fucking stupid, but so funny. Like, bro, draw sick characters. This is the equivalent to being Dan Schneider. <laughs> This next video goes out to that one guy who said, Oh, you probably shouldn't do these because it likely would attract more negative attention. I'm just kidding. I know you meant well. But, like, if people are spending their time writing negative comments online, they got nothing else going on. I mean, take a look at all the people who are writing the most unhinged things a joke at right now for doing... Uh, let me just check my notes here. Um... Liking and respecting women and doing a funny little video about it. Hmm. Average game mod comment section. Like. In fact, I wanted to play the mod with these new levels. Where is Link? Link. Hi, give me Link, please. Link. Link. Let me guess. The link was in the description section that they usually ignored. Speaking of edge of games, game is Midnight Fight Express. Name of the game? What game is this? It's right there. There's another comment asking for the game name, too! I swear, this happens... too often. Like, the game's main character could say, So this is Genshin and Star Rail Waves Waifu Collector 3D, and people would still be like, What's the name of the game?! Oh, this one was submitted to me from Doc M 77's section. Hermitcraft players, rise up! This one's for you! Doc... 
Why are you pandering to the pride people? You are straight, right? Why change your videos for them? I know you don't give a damn about viewers' respect, but you lost man. Well, wake up. Pandering to the pride people. Listen to yourself. These pride people you're talking about. You mean Cleo or Jem, my friends? You want to talk about respect? I don't think you're qualified to do so being the most disrespectful prick with this comment. <laughs> Doc, you a champ. You want to sub. This one came from my Vivian doodle that I did because your thousand year door came out and everyone loves that girl. Until... That's a boy! The English translators forgot to add he's a cross-dresser, not trans-inky on English. It is even said that way. Hi, Bellum. Maybe I'm remembering my history wrong, but didn't like when Thousand Year Door originally came out, people wanted Vivian to be confirmed as a girl, and like, now that she is, it's a, it's a problem? I don't know. I don't know. Was I missing something? You already know where this one came from. <gasps> yeah! Guys, it's a joke. It's a squirt gun. Relax. All right, this one came from, uh... <laughs> Sorry, I'm already laughing because I already know how I want to do this. This one came from an OC adopter that I uh, put up on the drawing channel. Yo, she gotta hit the gym. Well, heck yeah, she's adorable. Also, she is a literal alien. For all you know, that's a supermodel level body type on her planet. Whoever ends up buying her, uh, add that in. Let's ruin this guy's day. Pfft, aliens aren't real. Get real. Ironic, uh, what, what he's saying right here. Mate, if a character with large assets and a reasonable waist is fat to you, I would hate to show you some actual chubby women. You might explode or something. She literally has a tiny cylinder of her torso. What do you mean she got hit the gym? Chubby stomach is tiny cylinder? I guess in hindsight it is a bit chubby. I was just looking in terms of comparisons and with the rest of the body. Uh, no, in fact, a chubby stomach is an indication you got hit the gym. All right, cool. Let me know when you see fictional people at the gym. They kept trying to follow up, but it was just contrary after contrary. I think it's just, they had nothing else going on. Either that or they had a gym membership they were just trying to sell or they have a fetish for people going to the gym. I mean, there is that one anime about people constantly working out, right? I'm pretty sure that. Below things and people. This is the internet after all. All right, this one is about Nightshade. No, not the critically hit game, the one that protects artists from AI. I feel like treating Nightshade as an illegal piece of malware is like saying home security cameras should be illegal because you're taking away the house robber's main source of income. <laughs> exactly what I was thinking. And then here comes the contrarian in three, two... I understand not wanting your art being used, but ruining the model with only 50 of the images affected by Nightshade is insane. Especially when you can't really tell what image is causing it. It is actually insane. It shouldn't be the path to take, like it would waste countless hours for people just trying to make small AI projects like image recognition. It will also make AI models eventually become better or not get affected as much by it if you're gonna get offensive how much you want to bet red guy here doesn't actually give a shit about this? Chances are they probably just want to keep the AI generator intact so they can make anime waifu number 47 with five tits, a cow nose, and holding a hot dog for some reason because no artist would want to draw that for them and they're just being a vindictive little bitch. I look forward to the comment that says, I would have drawn it for him. I would have done it. What if the real world could lag? <laughs> Stop that, that's terrifying! Diversity win! The unhinged, unstoppable force slash immovable object of a killing machine hunting you and your friends through the city for sport is trans fam! Yay! You get that one dude in the group who's like, Oh my god, he's gonna kill us! And all of the heads turn to look at that guy like, Bruh. Guys, they're selling autism at Walmart now! Um, uh, Billy? We have autism at home? 11 out of 10 dentists agree. Biting solid uranium is bad for your teeth. We aren't sure where that guy came from, but he seems to know what he's talking about. Hate to say it, but Apple saved art today, by the way. 
By making AI are easily accessible to Facebook moms and grandmas with their new Apple Intelligence Image Generation feature, AI image generation is going to become synonymous with cheap iMessage fodder between nephews and uncles and shit. Thanks, Apple! He's right. Once grandma sends an AI image of a minion with a very distorted Roblox Chad face farting, it's all over for AI. By the way, machines can never produce true art because they can never be horny. The first step to making any piece of art. Rule 34? More like rule 69. <laughs> Sleeping with a blanket is low-key girly AF. That's just me, though, double shrug. Fellas, is it gay to not want to freeze to death at night? Yeah, but you gotta be warm for. A man? Oh, my current ranger funkos make the pansexual flag. This is brilliant. Oh, this is so cute. Wait a minute. Hatsune Miku! <laughs> now this is the content I came to see on this website. They're learning how to open .rar files. <laughs> My dad just came in, gave me this egg. It says high school was getting rid of it and asked if I wanted it. You said yes? Well, why wouldn't you? It's a big egg. I don't have PTSD. That's all just the wizard's curse. The wizard is my mother, but that's not relevant. We ask that the defense not say, me when I lie, while the witness testifies. Me when I want to cover up the truth. Hey, will you push the button? 99% chance of getting a million dollars. 1% chance of becoming a girl. As a completely cis dude, I would press this button immediately, without question. There are a lot of things I would do for money, but shit, I'd do this for like 20 bucks. Maybe less? She said with all too much confidence. A day? How powerful is this button? Uh, the edible task of doing the dishes. Sisyphin! Sisyphin! To be fair, I assumed you meant this as the motherfucking task of doing the dishes. Ugh. Abandoning atheism because I gotta believe there's a hell for some of you. <laughs> Anxieties. Attack! Wait, no, 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 not me, you fools! No, not like this! No! <laughs> Screaming, crying, throwing up, defrogatory. I hate asking references to be my references. It's like, hi, ex-boss, I haven't thought of you since the last time I begged you to help me get a new job. Can you help me with that again? I'm a derogatory! Oh, we're off to a good start today, folks. I think the steady removal of headphone jacks has a direct correlation to the amount of people who don't use headphones in public. Please return the hole. Or, you know, bring iPods back around. Just not, not, not the iPod Touch, the one with the clicky wheel. I like that one. My brother keeps calling Kinger Kingpin. I'm gonna commission you, Pomni! And it's going to be weird. Uh, just pulled an all day or mm -mm, didn't have a nap. Time to pull a no nighter. Wee! I need to train in a temple for 50 years. Bye. Never mind, they wanted to teach me discipline and patience instead of the hundred man slang fist technique, so I don't care anymore. Writing prompt. The monster is well aware of its typical victims, and it knows human eyes don't glow. Another victim of the cat girl. It finally ended. Sports! We did it! We're finally free! Tiger, who cracked her own tooth, is fitted with a gold tooth implant. That is the single hardest thing on the planet. Guys, how's it feel you're never going to be as cool as this? Mmm, gelatinous. Me looking at my brain. Um, L and Light did in fact match each other's freak, and it had dire consequences for the world at large. Happy pride to them only, love wins! Generically medieval, by which we mean our peerage is French, our castles are German, our weapons are Italian, and everybody speaks English. And you can have religion in one of two flavors. Woohoo! Aesthetic garnish! And sinister state control and bad allegory for problems in modern Christianity. Also, the latter is aesthetically French Catholic, theology German Protestant, and has the institutional structure of the Church of Scientology. 
Not to mention that this land is simultaneously inhabited by thinly modified northern Vikings, Nordic pre-medieval slash 9th century, traveling Mongols, European medieval 13th century, and a wealthy Italian merchant family with a house full of oil paintings, southern European renaissance 15th century, and the dance of the day is waltz, refined German 18th century country dance. But it'll only actually be called inaccurate if the adaptation chooses to add a black person. Fuck, why is it real? <laughs> hey guys, <gasps> wait, what was that? It's the Bonoi. Oh shit, was that a bunny? I think it's called a bubby. Many helpful reports from our teams in the field. You draw hats so well, and I'm like so amazed by it because every time I try it, it looks like they're wearing buckets. How do you draw them? Pringles. Shit, wait, this actually works. Is Mario okay? Mario is reflecting on life, wondering why there's so much fighting and bloodshed having to fight people like his brother and lover on the battlefield, and getting his ass handed to him on a regular basis. It, it's just too much. His spirit is broken. Things are not wahoo anymore. I have a question for the god. Why? I'm just saying, if your story has a spooky, mysterious character with a hidden face, and you have them not be some sort of creature or an inhuman, possibly eldritch horror in the vague shape of a person, then what's even the point? Have the mass vigilante secretly be a terrifying monster like God intended. Just do it. We'll make it a bunny. I feel like you're evolving into Pakicho 3.0. I, I don't even know who that is. Who's 2.0? Why am I third? I'm this?